Mission a fucking accomplished. Goon Swarm is not a threat. Good luck with your old dumb Nullsec War stuffed out, number one. Anamaka keeps Star is next and then come on. There, then you were just gonna fucking magically jump into Eve Online in a system and it was just gonna load and nobody was gonna call you fucking stupid later? There's an dog. Eagle Fleet that has dive bombed a Megatron fleet. This is the bravest shit I have ever seen in my life. The best possible shot to do something to the Imperium and you fucked it up. I, I, I talked a lot of shit over the last couple months. It's time to fucking eat some. And, I'm, and I showed up here to eat shit. Like The reason that this keep started and get contested, and I, I cannot make this up, is because of tie-dye. Guess where goons are going to live after this war is over? Uh, Kirkland is 319, I believe, right? No. Oh. Hi, sick. I People can tell you very clearly, our diplos didn't even fucking care. So, like, what? It, it, <laughs> <laughs> what, Daddy? I, uh... Yeah. What the fuck? Why? Why do you hate oh. the intro? The old because it's so much better. It's not edgy, Redline. Like, come it's on, dog shit. The old one was. What do you mean? Good. You need some game words in. Let me watch this. modern. This one oh, is also good. No. It... Also, did you even ping? There's no one here. Yeah, I pinged. What do you? Of it's course, like I pinged. Thirty dudes and six of them are us. This is awful. Hello, if you're in the chat, uh, X up. You gotta, you gotta give people some time, right? You gotta give people some time to join Dude, the no channel. No one X up. Right, it Con Con X up. That's fine. He's, but it's it's cons. okay though, right? It's all right. Great, King of Mario and X up. Great. Oh, well, right, we're off to a good start. No, he didn't. <laughs> Where's Wait, King of Marion? Isn't that King well, that's of Marion? That's not King of Marion. No, like, don't when, put that when you, on. When you get loads deep in here, it just generates into loads of people shouting over each other. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, that's that's kind of the thing. Um, yeah. but yeah, no, like this is this is how it works. Like I forgot to tell everybody that I was doing a holiday break streaming, not streaming over the holidays, and uh, I also forgot to tell everybody that holiday break was over. So both of those things happened. And, and now we're back, so that's why there's only 30-some people here.
more people will join as as time progresses, and that's fine. You say that. I do. I believe in it. I believe. I believe in the stream. Look, it's already almost up to forty people. Wow. Right. It's oh, only wait, been we're thirty live seconds. Now. Yeah, we're live now. Yeah. Um, you should. Really everybody stuff. should be able to be heard on the screen. You know, it's all it's all working properly. For the this first is so time much better with the old ever. intro when you did like the proper introductions and all that shit. Yeah, why would the uh What do you mean? I have to I have to get the portraits. That's what I was saying I had to do live. But I'm I'm in a compromising situation in Eve Online, so I have oh, to you do are, it. You, don't, you don't even on dock. Um I'm in a I'm on dock right now. No, you're not. Okay, okay, sure. Whatever. That's I'm, fine. I'll run a locator on you it's right now. Redline, you don't undock. Just start a stream. When you should. You undock, Redline. Today. Well, I was starting with the gaslighting. Today. Yep. I'm on dock right now. <laughs> okay, where are you he's on dock? He's, he's in Zazak and he'll dock as soon as anything. I, I'm running a locator on him right now. I'm undocked in 2 tech K. Okay. Oh, 2 tech K. Anyways. Oh, topic, subject. Anyways, uh, listen. The the cool thing about a stream is that the stream can just start, right? It just starts whenever it starts. And that okay, is so now. Let's crack so, on. So we still do the introductions and stuff. It's just I had to start when that intro ended and you were just talking and we just kept on talking. Um but anyways, now that we're done with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sunday, the uh the 1900 space gas. I guess that's what we decided to call this what I decided to call this in some sort of drunken stupor. My name is Redline. Welcome to the show. I'm joined by everybody here in the panel. We're going to go down the list while I work on getting portraits for the two most important people on the show. Uh, Luke Ennens is here from Returnity. Hello. Hello, Luke. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. It's New Year. It's quite chilled. That's all good. Right? New Year, new attitude new fights um we're also joined by a uh, toria hello toria how are you hey i'm not doing too bad good glad to hear that uh we've also got casey lp the battle book battle report wizard hey casey how's it going i am doing fantastic beautiful and we do have rots um Mjern worker i can't say his name but he's here but he's muted so we'll introduce him later um, we've also got the always wonderful Carmen, Carmen Gel. Hello, Carmen. How are you? Hello. I'm very well, thank you. Beautiful. Glad to hear it. We're also uh, joined by Khan. Hello, Khan. How's everyone going? Oh, pretty good. Can't complain. Where Where are you from? I forget. Me? Yeah, I'm you. From the UK. Not the not no in not in real space, life. <laughs> in the video game, man. What do you mean? Yeah. Big app, but big app, obviously. Okay. Mavis, no, big I'm big up. We're all got the same Perfect. Thing. And of course, uh, Mav is here. Hello, Mav. How are you? Is this this is the part that you missed, right? You like Don't this part? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. This was the part, though, right? This is what you said. No, I didn't want this. I just want a portrait. I'm working on it. Um, and we've also ready, Mav. we've also got Phantomite here. Hello, Phantomite. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We have just moved our corporation that everybody should join. What corporation is it? I'm gonna do a little yeah, advertisement. Blue Canary, the Blue Canary, the best faction warfare corporation in Eve Online. And what does your group do? He EVP. just says faction warfare, right? Yeah. Christ, you killed the show already, Redline. And, and what does Good that job, what Redline. does that entail? Do you you go out and you do complexes? Do you mine? What does your corp do? In faction warfare. No, I know it's hard for a Nelsec line member to imagine what might go on outside of an asteroid belt, but we fight other ships. I Dawn right here. No one cares about rock mining in twenty twenty four, Dawn. Okay. I mean some people might. Well no, Mav, we need to talk about raw calls, right? The last time this happened, we talked about raw calls a lot. Let me just do that again. Did we? Mostly you're just to listen. You guys can prattle on. We There's do like we, we do like to prattle. Well anyways, now now that Don's here, we can start the actual show. So this week a, a lot of stuff has, has happened. Where do you guys want to start? 
going to start with the, the Turner conflict. The Wait, stuff yeah. that happened five no, minutes ago. Oh, hold on. Not the Turner one, because I think the whole stream will be dominated by the yeah. Turner fight, because there's a lot to unravel. So you probably want to save massive amount of segment for that and get everything else done and dusted first. That's yeah. just a personal opinion, though. No, I, mm. I agree with Colin. Colin okay. also has to do some cooking. Okay. <laughs> So then, why don't we start with some of the... Why don't we start with the Southeast Agreement? Start there? Sound good? Ross oh, is muted. Really boring. It's not that boring. Yeah, he also has a bot in his corp, so who actually cares? I mean, who doesn't bot? have bots in I, their corp these I mean, days? You're a bot. Oh, and I'm sure Mav, big you're a bot. Like, Shut the every... fuck up. I mean, I can tell you go, you go in and save the are about it. Frank right. definitely has no bots. Ooh. A hot topic. Anyways. They definitely have a bunch of nightmare eaters. What's a nightmare eater? We can eater? talk about that later. <laughs> I think he's talking about the nightmare for your dunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out nightmares in Fortech H. That, the thinking behind that, but there must be a solution to that, and I'll be enlightened very soon. Um, I, 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 don't, I, I still don't know. understand what happened there, to be honest. Someone link Redline the BR. Maybe he wants to talk about that instead. I mean... Um, I think I might, I might have that battle report already, actually, because you're talking about the, it was, was it the Haunting Deity fleet? Is that the one? So I think, Haunt, so it's a Nine Tails Goon fleet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in oh, Nightmare that was in afterwards. And then apparently Zigum's fleet got hero tackle on some of the Nightmares, they landed at zero, and that's what caused them to feed as they were trying to warp out. Yeah, they were, so they were definitely feeding before that, but they got caught trying to run away. Yeah, I just right. looked at that BR just now. So that's this battle report right here for anyone who's confused. It's the one that's on the screen for you to look at. Pretty strong showing from us, I think. Uh, yeah, no, I'd say so. Um, it's a really strong showing for like no fucking reason, but it it is quite a quite a few nightmares. What are goons I mean... doing with nightmares? In uh, when Veil of the Silent. When you take faction battleships or someone's staging, I think it's kind of unrealistic not to expect them to... Not, you know. not just nightmares. I want to quickly point out, look at the fits. I, I looked at like two on the train here, and it's like Pith and Sea type. Like These are expensive, what well, you would expect Snuff to fly, Lav, if you would well, agree. Well, yeah, uh, it's 70 fly. bill worth of this nightmares. Is, this isn't a block... SRP. I just, this doesn't look like a block fleet at all. One link made the, uh, the BL. T2 it's on stream, friend. It's on the stream. Uh, scroll down a little bit. This looks like a, a, want, to, a, a want to buy copy of... Uh, yeah, that's like... What's Johnny Johnny's fleet, what they called? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like the same for the BFL users. BFL, BFL there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, BFL. Yeah, okay, well, I mean... like BFL wouldn't dream of like going into one to Q on with their nightmares, like, yeah. Well, no, but if they were attacking someplace in catch, they would definitely go there, and Fanny... also, right. But these were in four attack cage. Right, Fanny pilot was probably just balling out. I think he was top damage on the BR. He was, he was just, he was yeah. out there. This guy, hundred and three thousand damage. Yeah, he was. He made he nine was the one that... kill he wants to make carriers great again. Well, he was in a flycatcher, but they killed that, so he wanted to come back in a ship that they couldn't kill. That makes perfect sense. But yeah, I, I so saw this one, so what was this over? Like, what was the point of this fight? It's just content, really. So, like, Ninetales runs a SIG in Goons, which I think is called Russian Squad. And yeah. they've, they've been down here a few times with a few different kind of kiting fleets, like, uh, like MWD Tengus and some Nightmares and stuff like that. And, and they tend pretty well. Yeah, he's a good FC. He does well, pretty well most of the time. Um, and they sort of like try to like bait out, you know, fights against weaker FCs or smaller fleets, and just try and you know kite some kills and then run away. And then if they get blobs, they sort of run into an ESS and just kind of sit in there for a while. And they, they've had some success with it for a while now. And um, I don't really know what happens today. They just kind of like came through Zarzak. Uh, yeah, thanks for Zarzak by the way, CCP. Just came through Zarzak and just made a beeline straight for Fort Cage whilst we were undocking our TFI fleet to fight them. And then they just like warped to a ping off the side of the jump bridge in open space and bubbled themselves. And then, you know, all of our TFIs were like tracking disruptor fit, so they couldn't fight us at long range and kite us. And then they just decided to try and fight us at zero with like faxes and balgorns. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't really understand what their plan was, but it obviously didn't work very well. And yeah, they they, they were trying to sort of run away uh, after they started breaking uh, their Lodgy wing, and then that's when Zegum's fleet turned up with a bunch of Jaguars and just tackled everything. Yeah, he's the he's the ninety six Jaguar fleet over here on the left hand side. Yeah, the timing of them getting there was very clutch. Just happened to be in the area. So I guess the question really is, and this isn't really much of a question, I guess, for you guys, because, you know, you guys fly ships like these too, but 2.3, 2.4 billion-esque per ship, how, why would you have ships that are these expensive for just your line ships, though? Because What's... your line members need to fly outnumbered, and so you need to deal with the fact that you're fighting outnumbered and with implants and better, more expensive ships and better FC. So is this like main fleet goons or was this like a SIG no, it's or a something? SIG. It's a SIG. Like Carmen said it's a SIG. It's like Russian squad or whatever they're called. Gotcha. Okay. This is far from the first time they've used nightmares and stuff that's expensive like this as well. It's, you know, they kind of use it somewhat regularly. Yeah, and I doubt they'll stop either. Um, and I mean, well, Redeemer we'll did. I mean, if they do it once, they'll do it again. But Redeemer did also link a, a bunch of fights of stuff that's happening like down in Catch. I don't know if it's been uh, a lot of good fights this weekend. Yeah, talk to me about that, Carmen. What's been going on down there? Because I know I've seen like goons talking about it, how they're on the defense down there from something. To be honest, I'm not the best person to ask. I've not really been involved in much of the Catch stuff at all. It's all been kind of Chinese, Chinese time zone and Australian time zone I mean, when I'm not around. Catch is fairly straightforward, right? There is a uh, SIG in FRAP that deployed down there to get some fun because obviously Jakar is being the only other GM2 plus 8 entity in the game. Um, sometimes they just brawl between themselves. Jakar, I think, have now started to swap everything over to USTZ. I'm pretty sure it's USTZ, it might be EUTZ. And I think Brave are moving to catch as well. So it's kind of just escalated some of those fights a little bit. Wait. Are Brave actually moving to catch again? I don't think they're moving. They do have I hubs and catch. Are they going to the GE tank keeps If they repeat the same mistakes again, that's going to be so fucking funny. I mean, Carmen, GE has already been taken by Frat, so. Oh, okay. Probably not then. Just looking at dot land now there there i have that's a very funny ticker G it is GA. probably the best ticker in the entire game but i thought i thought that goons already had something like this what's the goon version of it anyways i guess that what doesn't really mean? matter oh. so the way that i'm hearing this is this group is taking as a fraternity space. holding mm -hmm. yeah alliance. right and so are goons, like, goons are coming down there to fight, and who else is coming in to fight with them? Anyone? You mean to fight, like, on... Like, with, with the side of goons, or against goons and Drakaris? With goons and Drakaris. I mean, that's just the usual group, right? So it's goons, Drakaris, I think, in it, have in been it. There. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, I think they've been there. So it's, it's basically the Imperium plus in it, versus those that aren't Imperium plus in it. So, right? the, so the Imperium, then, you mean? Pretty... Uh, no, in it is an independent alliance. Okay, we've, of we've course discussed they are. this already. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Solved on space tells me they're an independent, neutral state, which means they definitely don't have blues. Yeah, so it's basically the Imperium first, like you know, Panda Fan, right? Yeah, so it's the same old song and dance, just at a different dance floor. It it Pretty is. Sure. The, the, yeah, it just didn't really start as like this big thing. It started as a group within France. Just to hold up, hold up, hold up. Some content. Did it? Did yeah. it, So you're saying that it just started by Sig deploying for content? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, it was, no. it was, it was no Lange and his nightmares going there originally. That yeah, was, I mean, uh, last, where's Johnny? The Johnny last, back me up. the last time we talked about this area of space, it was like frat with seven eye hubs as a joke or something like that, and now it's a, a proper offensive trying to push deeper in. I, mean, I, I think you're overstating the proper offensive from a frat perspective at the moment anyway. Although I know Gobbins has said I think Horde are going to do some more stuff around that area now as well. But... Yeah, Horde's pretty active down there as far from what I've seen. Yeah, but I thought it's... Horde was deployed to Cloud Ring. 
But they've recently moved, like they're kind of underplaying from Cloud Ring and then I, deploying I mean, look, it's, catch. it's the two Nosek powers in the game, the only two that actually matter. Uh, pissing in someone else's yard, so to speak, so they can go have their content and fight and they can ping daily and have fights, but don't actually risk their crabs back at home. Like they can just deploy it. And with the way Zarzak works and all the jump bridges, it's just really easy to do. Uh, this will go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until. Maybe we have another World War B or something like that. It's the same thing over and over. But to a degree, what's what's wrong with that, right? Like it, it's still it's not. Oh no, I wasn't saying there was anything wrong with it. I was just. I think some people may try to overthink it a little bit. They're trying to suss out what one group is doing. It's very simple. One group moved down for content. The other one needs to respond, so they also move down. Everyone has skirmishes. Either it escalates into the massive thing that we've all seen before, or it kind of just fizzles out. Because at the end of the day, it's space that not really anyone wants. Everyone has the space that they want. Right I mean, now, Brave, has Brave, Brave wants it, right? Brave wants it. I think Brave just want any space they can fucking be given. Yeah. I stream Redline. I'm I'm trying to fix the portraits for the gang. Why am I on stream? No. <laughs> You need to fix that fashion sense right there, man. Fuck off. I do need to fix it, though. It's outdated. Are they on contract, Minty Clothes to wear? And I'll put them on. He's got the goggles, at least. Yeah, he's got the goggles. He's a goggle man. I just gotta, I just gotta add the screen screen, and then I'll be done. And then Those you'll have portraits. And I'm, just, I'm just gonna respond to the Twitch comment from Millen of all people. What's going on in Scorning Pass? Nothing. It's a load of groups fighting over some space. It, just Scorning Pass. Oh, it's Millen. Week, right? Yeah. You got no. baited by Millen, Luke. I don't know. I knew it was Millen. Because uh, he was going on about Scorning Pass before. And like, it's, it's just Scorning Pass being Scorning Pass. It's a load of people fighting over questionably value, space with a questionable value. Yeah, it was just. Um, just recently, there was a like a quick fight out there. I guess somebody did some feeding, but that was over a Fortizar. If that's what I you're like. Talking I'm about. taller than Carmen. Yeah, well, Tarma Carmen is um short. <laughs> There's definitely that's... a scale issue with those two portraits. That's not uh, that's not intentional by any means. Um, just so, you know, these portraits are inconvenient to have on the screen. Because it's oh, not man. set up for this, but that's okay. Look, I've made the portraits mm. better, and we're back. We're fine. The we're one, doing great. The one on the left just looks like a guy in a white van who says, "Hey, I got candy. Jump in." He drives off. <laughs> Is that what Carmen looks like? Holy <laughs> shit! You know, I, think the, I think the one. Right? I think the one on the left looks like a Jason Statham celebrity impersonator that you can hire for fifty pound at a party. <laughs> I think you could hire him for much less than that. Yeah, I think you're getting scammed, friends <laughs> mate. You need to revisit those prices. Yeah, like uh, at least half, maybe, maybe more. So now that Rots is here, Rots, hello. You didn't get introduced because you were you were AFK or muted um, a little while ago. Well, we we were yeah. saving a Titan team. We're we're good now. You were saving a Titan. <laughs> yeah, my my Titan almost got whacked. Oh, Jesus. that's the second. That, that wait, one. Rots. Isn't this is that the, the third time. time? The third time, oh my god. At a certain Sorry. point, you know, you gotta stop, right? Um, Log but, eventually. But we're about Maybe to switch. Maybe we can hire this guy to bodyguard for greed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't. Well, I That's don't on try the to list. drop past towers with my titan. Okay. Wait, were you the guy that Darkseid just full sent tried to get the titan kill on? Yeah, uh, no, that was not me. That okay. time around. Well, I know that I do, um, I do actually know the story between behind greed though, and it's not as interesting as people think it is. Oh, but we're going to talk just about get it. Off. It's never that interesting with greed. Oh come on! I just I just get to mark that topic off the, the list then. He was putting a pass down, so like you know, why would you mm. put a pass in GTAC O where he can project through Zarzak? Well, he would put a Titan in there, so okay, we'll just camp that stick and then ooh in it. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty like why it, would you it, do that? It, but... It's even worse, Rots. Apparently. Apparently, I, I obviously didn't see it firsthand. Greed got up, lo loaded his launcher, pressed login all of his tunes, and then went for a shower while his Titan died. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I'd have thought that wasn't true, but it's Greed, so it probably is. It's I love probably that that's completely the second true. Titan this week that has died to AFKness. 
yeah, apparently he literally just woke up, launched all his clients, and then went for a shower, thinking nothing bad could happen about his avatar in space. Amazing. Well, I mean, that's a terrible thing to come back to, it's but at least he was clean, right? You have loads of money. Um, but Rots, you guys just had a fight down in the southeast a little while ago over uh, Fortisar, right? We did. Yeah, this is what Millen's talking about in the chat. He's, he's saying there's been a lot of kills there. We've got the battle report here. The sides are probably fucked up, but it's uh, just the default. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what happened in this fight? What's the What was it over, and did you win? Well, one, we lost. Um, we uh, we ref this fort. They dropped it. We refed it before they were able to fit it. So it's an unfit fort. Um, we got it into armor, and we formed today. Obviously, it's, I think it's a holiday for them, so they had quite a few people as well. And, um, and then this turned into a cluster. I like The side that I am on is Synergy, Out of the Blue, and APOC. Uh, naval defense with, was with us today. Everything else is like, I have no idea who showed up. Volta came out and, and did their thing, and Flakes is there. It, it was a cluster. Background? Is Quinn taking fish. a shower? He's got a fish tank in the background or something. That's what it sounds I like. Do. I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty keen guess of sounds to guess oh. that it was a fish tank. Yeah, I mean, some, of us have, some of us have been outdoors and walked into dentists. And you stuff realize like that, before, that you know? fish tanks are indoors, right? Not outdoors. Yeah, some of, some of us have had to. Some of us have had to endure standing fleets in various Nostec alliances at one point or another. We pretty much distinguish yeah. every single sound that could possibly exist in the background. I mean, you, you just, start to just learn. like leaving home. Yeah, I've got my fish, got scotch and pepper, best goldfish ever, team. Which one? So uh, bought an Eve online. So how is it that Volta can manage to bring like forty some people to this, but couldn't muster like ten to save their space in the northeast, northwest? Because sorry. it wasn't because they weren't interested in it. It's that simple. I think it's a really. Yeah. Easy, I think it's actually really simple, right? Like SFC wanted to set up an Ulster Empire. Most of Volta didn't want to set up an Ulster Empire. Yeah. yeah. Well, then why? And so they just left him? They didn't just say, like, hey, look, you're not the leader of us anymore and kick him off no, the ladder? Kinda, that like, doesn't really work like that when that, you're the CEO. Yeah. That leadership is like a solid structure of just like three people who all wanted to do, well, maybe one person wants to do something, the other two are just like, yeah, fine, whatever. And what? I mean, so I now can, they've come back you, or what? I can Most tell you it's like an FC back. that was there and, and, and whatnot in B2. They lost that interest very, very long before. They lost the Was war. that before or after you got exposed as botting? Uh, that was before. Makes sense. Exposed as botting? What, someone had a bot in the corp or something? Yeah, and then he was given evidence and he didn't kick them? I did kick them once I was able to verify, verify the evidence. He's no Pretty longer sure with us, actually. Yeah, conversation that you didn't kick them. I, I mean, didn't it's kick them because I didn't kicked. have clarity. I mean, we they are kicked now. Um, results happen when I know for a fact that I can verify it, um, not just you. I mean, has any Mav, think of it this way, without trying to attack him too much, because I know Rots pretty well. Did it affect anything, the fact that it took a while for him to be kicked? Because he is now kicked. So you can kind of rest that case a little bit, I think. I mean, it's not that big of a problem. He didn't know I kicked him five months ago, even. So, yeah. But uh, I understand. I think he good. was reported like a year ago, though, at least. Yeah, it, it took six it took months. You. It definitely did. He rejoined that, that uh, Discord, and I was like, okay, dude, you've been given the rule. You don't, you're not in there, you're not doing this. So he's, he's in goons now or some shit. At least Rots is quicker Interesting. than CCP at this point, because I know a couple of dudes... I've given plenty of evidence to CCP and nothing's happened. So I can put that medal on him. Yeah, fair Well, it always depends on the quality of evidence that you're given as well. Um, like you said, it's got to be, okay. I, I will gotta be this, verified you and were everything right. before was anyone's going to take action. But if action was taken, you got to let it rest. It, it's simple know, as. If something's been difficult. done, you can't bring it up and keep trying to well, hit somebody is, with is it. That, is that how things work though, Redline? Cause, uh, yeah, no, it, it is. And, uh, it is kind of how things of, work. Uh, of, uh, of no, come on. We, gotta, we, can't go, online we, can't, we can't go backwards you know, using, through the uh, topics. We gotta go forward. We're not going backwards. Topics. We're going forward. That's not, 
We're it's not on the it. list Hang yet. On, red line. It's, we're not it's ready for that one yet. We're not, we're not ready, ready right? for that one. I, I we're not ready for that one. Segway. It's not. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's actually the worst segue ever. Okay, fine. Because I'll bite my tongue. Just I've put put the journalist book down. All right. Yeah. Down. He, he is an official Discord journalist. We'll give him that. Um, but we we do have Rots here, and Rots group is a part of the Southeast Agreement, and we do need to talk about the oh. Southeast Agreement because it is ending, and that is important. Is important One news. If anyone cares about the Southeast Agreement, please X up in the, in the, chat. the Twitch chat. Yeah, X up. If you I people mean, don't X I... up and let us talk about this, I will be so upset with you. I swear to God. I mean, Look, let's be fair. I'm interested to see what Rots thinks with the agreement yeah, ending. Yeah, I want to. I want to hear every the whole Southeastern agreement, like their opinions on stuff yeah, down there. Okay. There was like six people going on. My pessimistic mind is just like someone's going to steamroll through there and just suck up all the content. Yeah, and it just gets left alone. But I honestly think someone's going to steamroll through there. Yeah, I mean, and, and so that's that, that's enough access for us to talk about it. So let's so introduce nice. the topic before we start talking about what's going to happen yeah. when it happens, right? So what this is, the Southeast Agreement, if you're not familiar with what it is, it was where all the null blocks decided that they were going to fuck off and on, leave the not Southeast them, alone. But it doesn't not matter. All not them. all of them, Some whatever. Of them, like, you know, brave, most of you them, a real block. Carry on. Most of them said, hey, we're going to leave the Southeast alone. It was like... That Torrid, Inn's mother, well, most of Inn's mother, all those other regions of space down there. That agreement is coming to an end, and the Nullsec alliances are no longer going to honor it, which means they can invade that space and evict everyone who lives there. Oh, not honoring it is an interesting use of phrases for a contract expiring as laid out in the contract. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean... I agree with that. So, so talk to me about this. Yeah, no, it, it, it expires. I it's get like it. I understand that. And me telling you to fuck off when your lease expires. That yeah, sounds when... like a snuff renter kind of contract. But I don't know what you're on about. What does renewing it do? That's such a big problem. Well, like fuck them. They're shit at the game. They don't deserve the space. So why not? They should have to fight for their space, like Wait, everyone else does. They the do. Yeah. They just don't have to fight giant no blocks. Well, unlucky, that's Snullsec in 2023, 2024, 2021, 2022. But it doesn't have oh. to be, right? Yeah. Well, CCP's problem, not the null blocks. It'd be a lot easier to not have to fight null blocks if they couldn't teleport everywhere in the fucking game instantly. So, oh, right. now I'm interested Maybe. in this conversation. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, let's, not, let's not have the Zarzak conversation. C CCP doesn't see a problem. I was talking about Zarzak, but okay. No, but it's part it. of the conversation. It is, but... to be fair, yes. I mean, it CCP is a part of the conversation. Have a problem with it until then, like their profit figures go down. Right, you've got a bunch of people buying Plex, injecting, buying Plex, subbing accounts, doing this, this, and this. As far as I'm concerned, their number pounds counts going up because of faction warfare update. They're focusing on faction warfare. They're not going to touch Nullsec health for at least a year, maybe two. Well, what should they do with Nullsec? I mean, uh, Nullsec you know is what, a sandbox, right? Yeah. Happen, They're not going to touch Nullsec at all. The faction warfarers are going to keep growing and growing. And like uh, we're seeing with Minmo invading CVA, eventually all you retard Nullsecers are going to get pushed out by faction warfare zoomers. Hey, so I'm so gonna help. cut that statement out. Uh, for casual G's, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. That sounds those like a pretty healthy. Warfare ecosystem. zoomers will become a new Nullsec alliance as they push into Nullsec. That's actually like super healthy, right? That's yeah, that's a, that sounds like a really healthy cycle. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's what Naval Defense Alliance is trying to do right now because they came from the oh. Naval Defense Alliance or Institute or whatever. They were. It's just like that other alliance I've never time. heard of that you mentioned earlier. The Fleet Alliance? They're doing stuff down there too. But anyways, Rots, so with this coming to an end, I, I do want to ask you the question, what do you foresee in the future? What do you think happens February 22nd? That's a tough question. I, I don't think anything's going to happen. I'm gonna I don't form think anything time. is going to immediately happen. I think I'm going to get shot more by, you know, People in blocks, I know. I know a lot of FCs. I think I'm going to get shot. I can speak to me. I think we're just going to have, you know, generally everyone up in our space shooting us, which is kind of what we came down for. 
but when I don't... you say shot, do you mean skirmishes or do you mean people trying to like? It's a good. That's a good people. good uh, differentiation. I think it's gonna be skirmishes. I don't think I'm gonna get evicted. I don't think people are gonna like largely come in and evict me. Um, I think the people that I am personally most um, worried about getting evicted by are like Volta and the Russians, who are you know known good friends, and I've been fighting them already. There's no difference in the sea keeping me from being evicted by them or not which is which is very close they just come through g taco and boom they're here you know hey rots i know a brick alliance that could help you (laughs) yeah rots we take payment in full don't worry hit me up after this you know what i tend to agree with rots's assessment though i think he's right i don't think anybody's going to come in and steamroll yeah, I mean, um, I, I have well, no, no has problem any reason to, um, right? saying it either. Is like Gobbins invited a bunch of the C alliances um, to a chat and was like, hey, you know, what is your opinion of this? Asking this same question, what is your opinion of it? Um, and everyone's, you know, flip side is I just don't want to be involved in goons or your crap. You know, that's kind of where this all came out to. Um, and I pitched some different alternative agreements or even started poking to see what was your reason for not signing because everyone has a different reason for not signing the C. I don't think and it so, needs to exist though, right? If... I don't think it does either. Based on the feedback we got, it's the reason we didn't sign is largely for reasons that wouldn't mean I would get evicted. So then I don't need it. So what were some of the reasons? Can you say? Yeah, 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 I have no problem. I mean, it's, it's stuff that's relatively open. Um, you know, yeah. Init's is, uh, I think Init would publicly said it when they, he closed the sea. I think it was Dark Shines who put it, is, you know, there's a lot of leak groups down here. I mean, he's speaking to um, Amelia, who uh, I have the stance of Amelia is also a small alliance getting content. Do they have more money? Sure. But they're a part of the sea and what the environment is down here. So, like, I'm never like, oh, I'm going to go evict Amelia with a bunch of people. That's just not my interest. Um, And I've taken my hits from Amelia. Like, they're very good players. But, um, you know, that's one thing that Init cited as their reasons not to. Um, I think Goons sees the sea as a way for P Horde to have renters in Innsmother. And so Goons is like, I'm not going to resign something that essentially creates a de facto meat shield for your renters and ends mother. And I think Horde... How can um, they be renting space and ends mother? They, like, renting was banned in the Southeastern Agreement. The, the half of ends mother, that yeah. is the Southeastern Agreement, you can't rent in, but the other half of ends mother, which I would argue is the good part, um, is largely controlled by, I think, Solaris Chitonium. He you know, put it on Riot Rick. Which, by the way, I'll add in here, by slice, which is what uh, you're talking about, he just means horde because I haven't mm-hmm. seen Right Rick actually show up to his own timers. I mean, yeah. I left Rote right, and I have been following Rote's campaign where they poke at slice pretty closely to see, hey, what kind of content can they get from a smaller Panfam group? And it has mm-hmm. largely just been Rick picking up the bat phone and going, "Yo, I need a horde." And to be right clear, now. I don't know whether or not they're actually renting space in there. I don't. This is just you know, this is the reason cited. So you know, people say, oh. The, there's rental space. There's like I don't, I don't actually know the internal workings of P Horde. I don't really care. We shoot them, we roam them. It's cool, whatever. But you know that's one reason cited there. Um, you know by the words of Gobbins, you know Winter Co just kind of sign as long as everyone else is signing, or they won't sign if no one else is signing. I, and... I, can, I can confirm the Winter Co position that if those members wanted to sign it, we would have quite happily signed it. We you know we had no reason to deconstruct the SEA. But at the same time, it only works if everybody signs it. Sure. And then and then P Horde is kind of like, I want to re-sign it. And I guess the person who gains the most out of the C, other than the alliances who are currently living in the Southeast and the MPC alliances in Curse and Great Wildlands, which, mind you, all of those people who live in MPC Nullsec have also gained a lot from the C. And that's my standpoint. You have seen an amazing Curse dynamic and you've seen an amazing Great Wildlands dynamic because of the C. Um, the only other person who gains is actually a block, and it's P-Horde, in theory. You know, if you, if you look was, at it that uh, way. What was the region you said that was split up? I forgot the it's Innsmother, it's the good Insmother, pocket. Like, both, both, I, uh, Innsmother, both Innsmother and Tenerifus were split up, yeah. Luke or uh, Rods, I guess, can you talk about why those two regions were split up and kind of divvied up to Horde? 
because I didn't see, you know, like the Imperium being given any kind of special benefits to. Well, they, they, they did right. because actually the Imperium took part of Tanarithis and Horde, which was their the route to to impasse. So both and that um, was in the agreement as well. Yeah, those were both in the okay. agreement. Now, can I speak to why that was done that way? No, I can't. But I mean, that's at least how I understand. I mean, the if agreement. both sides like got something, then that so if if you if like you look at the if you look at the Inns Mother bit, um, it's mm. the section, it's the North Inns Mother section that is kind of like the entrance to the Spire and Ethereum Reach that the Horde kept. And yeah. Tenerifis, I believe, was was similar, like it was the access point to, to yeah. Ethereum space. Twice. Twice in the original agreement was given control of the um, constellation that gets connection to de to Dedroid. So it's basically so it's... like floodplains. Yeah, Pretty exactly. Much. It's I've a, just, a I've valve. just posted the, uh, the the space division in the Adult Swim channel. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, 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 okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this is way better than what I have on the screen right now. Yeah, I don't sure. know why you didn't look at this at the beginning. I mean, that, we that weren't was talking about just in this Exactly, yeah. there you go. Three groups. Oh, apparently know, there's I... a huge brawl going down. Wow. That's some venal somewhere. Oh, it's venal? God damn it, I'm on the other side of the galaxy. If only there was a if only there was a quick and easy way for me to get across the universe. You're, you could be right there, Redline. You were in the south, now you can go to Zarzak in the north. That's you the plan. This. You're gonna see this real time, guys. I'm logged out, I'm logging in, I'm traveling. So anyways, I'm, so you don't I'm think curious. that anything is gonna happen in the southeast as far as like you getting evicted. And like people could roam there before, so nothing is gonna change down there really. Because I mean no one has any reason to take that space. Right, I don't. I don't think I'm going to get evicted because I think people want to shoot the caps of the people down here. So I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot less cap usage. That's what I think is going to happen. I think mm. the only thing that could push it in a weird way would be if a load of SEA groups decided to ally with P Horde or the Imperium, and then there was one big fight where they showed up on one side. Right, I think that yeah. would trigger somebody to have objection to it and try and. Yeah, it, it would. It would be a huge issue. If any of these groups take a side, and a lot of these groups are like, I don't want to take a side, and I want assurances that I can be neutral. That's kind of the the feedback I've gotten, is everyone's like, what is the world where both P. Horde and Goons acknowledge that I exist and I am fucking neutral? And um, that's that's yeah, kind of what they want to do. Really, you know? And nothing really works like that. Though. And nothing like, works like that, exactly. You know. Also, the South like, groups have to have assurances that Let's say, for example, in two months from now, it's renewed. The, the agreement's renewed now. And two months later, one group goes, right, I need your help with this thing. If you don't do it, we'll evict you. Can that Southeastern group turn around to goons or goons say that and Horde turn around? They turn around to Horde and they go, hey, we need help with this. They're strong arming us. What can we do? Does one of the blocks come down there and sort it out? Or did the other block just go, and we don't really care. It's in that little part of space that doesn't include us. It's a it slippery itself. slope. I mean, so the enemy of gonna... my enemy is my friend, right? But I think the moment that happens, it doesn't matter anyway. It'll just escalate, right? They need mm -hmm. that assurance. They they need to know that one of the two blocks will step in if the other one oversteps its bound. Because there are examples of blocks overstepping their boundary just because they can. And I'm by the way, I'm looking at the map of Insmother. There is barely any any activity here, even yeah, in the big. It's not used. Even in yeah. the good, like I'm looking at the horde section of Insmother, the good ratting pockets. It's but you know barely what? used. Like, do you need it? I, if you wanted to directly answer your question even better, is it, do I think you know I'm going to get evicted? No. Do I think, and by the block specifically, do I think, however, that this opens a prime opportunity for one of the sea alliances to decide I am going to build a coalition and I'm going to try and ally with one of these blocks in order to remove the others? Um, that's a possibility. Um, but all of these groups have been talking and keeping at least an amount of decorum, and we're all neutral. Like, everyone shoots each other. Um, and we'll occasionally work together for an exterior threat. But it is so uncommon, you know, that it's, it's actually been a very enjoyable experience down here. But I think what it does is it opens up the possibility for um, block intervention, which in and of itself might skew things in the direction that is not what it is now. 
It's going to get that, so messy. So it's going to get messy. Well, it's going to be a slippery slope. And then some of, Diplo decides somewhere, oh, you've worked with Horde this time, or so now we hate you and goons. Kind of, and then he's in it. I don't think so, it's... Right? Like, I kind of feel there are two scenarios where the whole Southeast just catches fire, right? Which is, as Rot said, where block A kind of push on the small group in the SEA, in the SEA, and the other block kind of come in, right? And then block... Then all of a sudden that small group seen a, as a pet of, of block A, right? Or where one of the, the SEA groups kind of either, you know, turn up to defend goons, in which case Horde will probably get in, or turn to, you know, turn up to defend Chikaris, at which point, you know, Frat care, or turn to defend Horde, in which case goons care, right? So it's going to be, there's a bit of a line that's going to need to be trod very carefully, I think, as well. But I think if the SEA kind of alliances want to keep um, neutral and kind of do their own stuff in their own space, I would hope it's largely left alone. Yeah, I don't I don't think anyone's going to interrupt them. But the thing is though is that why did this need to exist to create this kind of dynamic in Nullsec? Like do you guys think this is how Nullsec is supposed to be? It's supposed to be is a bit of a weaselly it's, it's difficult sandbox, phrase right? to work with, yeah. yeah. It's not it's not supposed to be two groups dictating what other smaller groups should do or shouldn't do at I, all. But it's the best solution. Like it's the better of both worlds that we have in the moment in the current climate of Nolsec. Let me distill that a little further. So if you consider um you know what are limiting factors, the C limited blocks from coming in which is something CCP currently doesn't do. There is no limit to well, as soft as you can take, that kind of thing. And so that is the space it, it made naturally by fact of the agreement. You know, there's nothing inherently stopping from a SIG like BFL coming in and saying, which BFL on its own could evict me, right? There's nothing stopping BFL from coming in and saying, oh, hey, Goblins, I'm going to take these seven systems and fuck rots over and ha ha ha. That That's, can happen now, you know. That was a point I wanted to make and... Uh... Luke can, uh, not Luke, sorry, anyone in, who's in BFL can disagree with me, but I'm using the example of when BFL moved into pure blind the first time. This was before you officially aligned with Frat when you were kicking out Volta. I, I foresee a scenario like this happening where BFL moves down or any group that looks like BFL from anyone in, in EVE moving down for content because there is no content anywhere else. I think going, the southeast is too, sm too small for, the, like, BFL correct. itself. I think maybe you do get, like, smaller SIGs going down, like, you know, the group that uh, Frat have done and catch harassing the area. I don't know how big they are. Actually. Yeah, but, that, but that's but that's shooting Jakaris, right? That's not there to harass yeah, yeah, the southeast. Yeah, yeah. That's there to harass the only other group in the same time zone. It's mm -hmm. not uh, quite the same, fair. right? But like, I, I think do. you'll see maybe smaller groups from like um, alliances going down, but like BFR itself, there's like hundreds, of, maybe not hundreds, it's more than a hundred people, and you're kind of just going to dumpster the southeast if you go I mean, down. there's, I can speak to my alliance, we decided to do this very much in the, you know, I, I'll say grassroots way, is we wanted it to happen naturally, we wanted growth to happen naturally. And that is slow. And, you know, people don't talk about these blocks have been here for years. Um, one could argue ages ago, I was a key factor in helping um, get the original and three, getting all of these alliances that are in drone regions get to where they were. Um, I was a part of that. I was a content creator. And that is years. I'm talking, you know, 11 years of my EVE playtime was in drones working with those groups. And that took years to get them to where they're at. And so none of these C alliances will ever get to that point. I mean, that's just EVE Online. And so if you want to have a good experience later, um, if you're in a block, you want to give these guys time to do the thing. Um, or give these guys time to recruit and bring in people who, who have older assets. I mean, that's the thing that's not spoken about at all, is out of the blue, we'll never be at a point where even, I'll, I'll just name an alliance on this list, um, Dracarises or Northern Coalition, literally on its own. I will never I be there, the super cap wise. Northern Coalition, like, even still have space. Like, uh, see, I probably can't say what I actually wanted to say there, but yeah. see, my, I mean, I have a prediction about the southeast, which might be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Will be that nothing will probably happen for the next three to six months. I yeah. 
expect some block at some point will make some movements in the air and in the area. And I mean, what I would like, what I think I'd like to see is a lot of the SEA alliances kind of come together to form their own coalition. If that's what's going to happen to defend that themselves, rather than cool. merge into something larger, like you know, that would be. I mean, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet, to be honest. That would be cool, but I think eventually you would see like Panfam interfering in that, even if the southeastern people didn't want that, and then you know it would end up with well, you guys had uh, you bat phoned like Panfam, so we're gonna come and like put more pressure on, even though like. They didn't bat phone. If anyone tries to do anything in the southeast, it's just gonna crumble. Didn't Snowflakes like fight a big group over there and they got forty dudes and they took down an entire alliance? You think all these like no name shitter alliances are gonna get together and defend their yep. fucking homeland? No. Yeah, this They're is this crumble. is what I agree with Wally because they these groups that like crumble under Amelia, they're used to bat phoning people for help if it really gets hectic. They're used to these big tie dye fights where like the 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 fact that you have more skill doesn't really matter. It's about how many numbers you bring. It, who was it? Is it Eltrig or No Value that was down there and Amelia just kicked them out, basically? It was Eltrig. It was, it was Eltrig, Eltrig, and then they run, so, they run to be defended by Jakaris and Impasse. So Eltrig so, is now what? In a small pocket in Impasse, right? Like renting it out slash defending it? They're in most of Impasse at this time. Like, they were a pure example of someone, a group who went and sought out Southeastern Agreement, but in my eyes anyway, sought it out for some of their own space to crab in slash own so that they could put their flag down, but they didn't actually plan to defend it. They didn't actually think and sit down and go, we're going to have to go through the nitty gritty timer after timer facing people that are probably much better than us because we look like content. They just kind of gave up immediately and bitched about it and then walked off to impasse. What what disappoints me about the about the whole SEA thing is, I was really hoping that a couple of the larger blocks, some of their kind of more competent smaller alliances, would have would have broken off and tried to build their own thing. Now I know it happened with some Winterco ones, but I don't think it happened with any Imperium or Panfan ones, which is a bit of a shame because some of those have got some of that knowledge um, of that big block but, warfare stuff. So... A lot of these groups get fat, like figuratively oh, speaking. I mean, obviously not. I, I mean, I can like on this topic because I was one of the groups that splintered from uh, the NOSAC groups, we were a corp and PL. We'd only just really formed. And I looked at the meta of NOSAC when the Southeastern Agreement was formed, and I was like, F fuck NOSAC right now. Like, it's really boring. Let's try and do something on our own. Didn't really work, and I fucking hated it. But, you know, I think there were groups that did splinter off, and, like, maybe not as many as we wanted, and definitely not as big as we wanted. Like, we were really small, and... I'm sure the groups that did Splinter were small, which is why not many people have heard about it, but I think there were Splinters. I mean, uh, the thing cool that was not alive here, though, though, is what? you've got it good, right, if you're already in a block, you know? No, you're you one don't. Of these like, well, Nolsec no, is fucking boring. Listen, Matt, hear me out. So, you can take the risk of just going out and you know, trying to, like, forge your own thing, but, like, you could, you know, end up in a situation where, like, you get evicted again, and then you have to, yeah. you know, like, go crawling back to whatever... No, you, uh, don't, you don't have to go crawling back. What, like, what he's trying to say, Mav, is people like comfort. All right, there's there's people... Okay, yeah, I'll use this yeah, example real quick. Like comfort, yeah. There's people like me who play the game quite extensively because either I work from home or I have lots of free time. So I'm always around in the game playing it quite a lot. My hours are quite high. And there's others who only get to play it two, three hours a week and they just want to log on, go to a pinged fleet. And to be fair, I'm let's be real honest, time. that's the majority of the game player base right now i would say that's a yeah. vast majority they don't want to do the heavy lifting the heavy work it's already been done for them they can just slot into a, an alliance they've got their donut donut that's a they've got their group they can go out to ping fleets they come home they go to bed like it, yeah you think that we've caused that by like doing that though no 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 no. i'm not saying that i'm saying this is what people prefer at the moment. Hey, hum what? human nature causes that that's 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 like... yes that's true I mean, to be fair, people, like, going back on the Death While Snowflakes thing, people have already defended against Snowflakes many a time. Like, G-Club hey. and all of them in the South have formed, like, what, 300 people? And have killed the Fortazar. But, Corey, why Nazca. are you here? Aren't you in, in it? You're, like, a line member in, in it. No. It, let, let him speak, man. <laughs> yeah, anyone can well, be here. Finish. It doesn't matter what let line member is where. People can speak. 
No, I'm I'm actually part of the southeastern agreement as well. No, oh, there you go. I had two people who splintered from stupid Northside groups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, when it gets to the point where we in Flakes, right, have to defend against like 300 people, um, it gets to a point where it's like we just kind of look at what we can realistically field and what we know we can handle with our doctrines, and we say, yeah, sorry, we got to punt that timer, and we can't defend that. It sucks, but it's what it is. And we're, you know, fully, you know, ready for that game we play. I mean, we've been here doing pretty well for what we felt was going to be like a meme deployment, and it ended up going further than I think anyone really thought. Yeah, I know. I, I never said you guys were shit. Don't, oh, don't no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think you, I didn't think you were saying that, yeah. uh, I don't think anyone saw it as a meme deployment, moderator. I think everyone saw it when you deployed down. If Amelia can keep the train moving, so to speak, and keep people logging in, we, at least I knew, or I could feel that you were going to be, you were going to be staying there, yeah. taking people about. And because you're, you're piloting with, Arguably, what everyone would say here is the one, some of the best pirates in the game in terms of AT and stuff. So everyone knows their mechanics, and that sometimes is the difference. Without glazing too hard, that's sometimes the difference between fighting someone like Eltrig, where it's a lot less skill gap, and you know, fighting as a group like Snowflakes, where everyone is understands the game mechanics. Everyone has a super alt, a dread alt, etc., etc., etc. No one, I don't think a lot of people thought that your deployment was going to be a meme. It was going to be very serious. Group no, I'm saying I thought with. I thought our deployment was going to be a bit of a meme. We've had why did you yeah, think it was that's... a meme though? Well, I didn't think it would basically get this far. We've had um, you know, the Gorin group has basically had a total of three deployments. One was initial like happy deployment where kind of kicked out like the remnants of what was test after they fell apart um, after that World War B two. Then there was uh, another deployment which kind of really didn't go anywhere in this general region of the southeast and then there was this one which i think has probably been the most successful of yeah so of you have a history it. of like fighting massively bigger groups than you and like succeeding like kicking yeah. out an entire alliance out of outer passage which is you know and... like kind of in the middle of nowhere and logistically challenging um like being in the southeast twice like of course you're gonna dump to the groups in the southeast and of course they're gonna take that extremely seriously Putting that history aside, we can just look at Amelia and say, yeah. okay, what does the name Amelia tell you? Okay, the YouTube channel with small gang tips where Amelia was posting videos upon videos of killing standing fleets with hundreds of people in it with like 10, 15 dudes over yeah. and over and over again. That brings the that brings the, the the fear factor into it. People will just automatically assume that, oh, crap, I, I, I can't face these people. I... I have had this discussion with several flakes people and I've always just said, don't deny that you are scary as a group because some people go, oh, they won't fight us. I've heard this. I've heard this in chat channels. They won't fight us. They're big pussies, etc. Just try and look outside for a second. Don't just look from your point of view. Look at nobody, Amelia, look at the other Nobody names. owes any other group a feed. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. And, I... and I've seen this being touted about. They. they I remember you know, when I was in... Them. I was in the southeast, and we nearly got dumpstered by uh, them. I think they were living in a wormhole at the time, and uh, our scout went ahead, and uh, they were in like I think, I think we were in paladins like heavy armor, and they were in uh, nightmares, and they they would have just boosted us apart from our faxes and dumpstered us, and so we we ran away, and didn't take the fight, and they were not happy that we didn't take that fight. But like, why would we waste our heavy armor on them? Like for us, it was like our like apex doctrine we only really had one of them we didn't have srp and it was what we would have used to defend ourselves so we're not gonna waste it on like amelia's group we're I, gonna wait until someone, I, um, like, that's I had a only... very different experience yeah. when amelia came around um you know because everyone you know in my directorship and everyone's like oh well amelia is kind of you know the person i would worry about out here and i have no problem saying that and i think i've said it already here the yeah, only yeah. group I am actually worried about is Amelia, because I know that my members are not at that skill level. Um, but when Amelia came around, because we had a director drop um, income crap, uh, Athenors, at the completely wrong time within Amelia's probably best time zone, um, we formed up and we saw the doctrine that we knew from everyone else around what it is, what we're going to be fighting, and it's going to suck. 
And I just told everyone, like, hey, team, you're going to whelp today. Um, but you're going to have fun. You'll get to experience mechanics a little bit din- differently than you've had. Um, my approach to it was I was humbled, and I've told my members that, because I learned a lot from our fight. It was an even fight. I dropped caps, um, and I threw down. And Amelia waited until the end to drop supers, and we fought it out. Did we feed like a son of a bitch? Yeah, everyone was replaced, and it was cool. And I haven't seen Amelia too many times after. Um, Some people just got to fight. Like, you didn't come out to the southeast either to not take those fights. You're not going to win every single one. I fed 80 bill today. Um, If you come to the southeast with that expectation. You know you're going to lose. Sure, absolutely. You can choose to do that. But some people will choose to take it. Because some of what makes the southeast happen and will let your alliance grow is that those people know that they're going to get content being out here. And sometimes you just got to take the fight. Like before reason. That reason you said, Mav, is also a very slippery slope. Like, I try and just... If you're always going to not take the fight that you think you can't win, you're not going to take a lot of fights. Because some sometimes, especially in the Southeast, I would say at least, some of these fights look like it's a toss-up. Because it's so small. It's like mid-scale, breaching on larger-scale fights. super true. There's so many times I've had one um, one really just stupid misstep that I've, I've played for years and I know I shouldn't have made that misstep and it gets capitalized by that other mid-tier group. And that's the, that's the pivot on, on the fight and who wins and who loses. I think um, for us, we were a very, very small group and we were relying on multi-boxing and like bling to kind of punch up against the I get that groups too. in the area. I, so like, yeah, you, you the, do The multi-boxing sucks. Work. None of us know how to do it and so it's like crap we we're, we're relearning eve online but on a second account now um i can't you you are absolutely right it stretches you thin i i was i almost lost the titan today because i wasn't paying attention i was 30 kilometers outside my pos i'm like not even paying attention um it's a lot mentally to handle i mean like we we weren't like bad at multi-boxing but you know, like, if you make one mistake, yeah, you can just kind of feed them. So you are more hesitant with what fights you take. And Amelia's side are the same. Like, I think, uh, I can't remember who said it, but they was like saying, you know, two, uh, I think it was more, like two, three hundred people. Yeah, we'll just say, yeah, we can't fight that. Unfortunately, yep. when they don't fight that, they get clowned on for that. And it's like, the, the, like you know, when the flake dudes are clowning on people for not taking the fight, it goes, it works the exact same way. You can't be clowning on them for not taking the fight when there's like... 30 of them on comms. I don't even know. Jordy can probably say how many of them are on comms on average. There's 30 of them on comms, for example, and they formed up like 200. No one is fighting that, okay? Not even the block. Blocks wouldn't fight that with those kind of numbers. Like, needs to be... Then eh, People need to be more realistic nowadays. I would say most of our fleets right now average between 19 and 25 people on comms. There's a lot of multi-boxing, right? Because for uh, yeah, how many, BRs, how many, How many people do you form in fleet? Boxing. Um, of 19 and 25 on cons, you might see like yeah. 50 to 55 characters. Yeah. Uh, that's heavily dependent on if, like, I don't know, Zhao or Alice or Fast Rage are playing at the time. And, and then you if, you're getting, if you're getting a fight and you like ping for like max dudes, do, do you see that number go up and like mm-hmm. more characters log in and stuff? I think our peak was what Khan said when we bat phoned like the entirety of Jutsu and Baltrum pinged. I think we capped out at like one, 150. Total yeah, characters that's, with that's a lot. forty that's people on yeah. yeah. That's that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's, mean? that's the most yeah. I've seen you form. Um, uh, and his then normal we... is my normal, except yeah. my players aren't as skilled, you know. And that was when we were attempting to contest like a four desire or some shit against like six hundred people, and have never gone to that scale again because it's what, um, unfightable. What What I would say to kind of bring like that conversation to the end on my point is. Groups like Amelia keep that space, in my opinion, from going back to where it was with XIX. That's just how I see it. Because when they tore through that space in it, and everyone tore through that space, and it, uh, XIX didn't put up a fight, right? They owned huge swaths of space, huge regions, and they didn't put up a fight, basically. Two timers, oh, and that was isn't it. Isn't this the same argument, though, where it's like if you, you know, are trying to fight someone like four times your numbers, at some point you just throw the towel in? Because that's I what don't... XIX was facing. Yes, but I don't think... fight Horde and fucking in it at the same time. I'm That's not ridiculous. blaming them. I'm not blaming them for fighting it. But they were so. But this was before. You'd go through their space. It was dead. It's like going through Catch now, or going through Malpays, or going through 
uh, out of passage. Holy crap, that, that region is dead. Um, it's just dead. It's dead, dead, dead. That's what it was like going through XIX space when you would roam, when they still existed. There's always it's, some regions like that, though, you know? I don't know. I mean, but there I mean, there was so the much dead, dead right? in the southeast with with them there. That was that was nuts. Peak form on fire was also significantly above. I think what even the largest SEA group would be capable of amassing, and I think that was That's probably no. And they had something. super carriers. Yeah, and not I mean, that they used. Not that they used. Them uh, uh, yeah. I think what I was okay. So I didn't describe it properly. What I was trying to say is okay. Uh, you kicked out Eltrig, right, Jordy? You kicked them out, you've moved them out. Had you not done that, they would have moved in with those numbers and probably taken... How big is El was Eltra compared to the other Southeastern groups? Uh, uh, I Ross? think they were forming 60 or so people individually, and then combined with no value, their fleets would be around 220 total. So they were, that yeah, that's way they were, bigger than... They were probably the bigger boys in the Southeast mm -hmm. at the time. They were the largest had, group besides Zurich, plus Star So yeah. had... Uh, Amelia's group probably not kicked them out. They would have taken huge swaths of space under the agreement, and they would have just started crabbing it up, which is fine, but they would have kept their numbers, I think, roughly the same. And if someone like Amelia's group comes in, they would have just folded immediately. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, It promotes groups to either learn, grow bigger, grow smarter, or just move out because it's not good enough. Yeah, and they, they basically, basically the old trick thing is they didn't do... This is my kind of assessment anyway. They didn't do the grow smarter thing, right? Right. They they came in, they tried to build their own thing and their own kind of like mini coalition, but they went immediately from going, right, we're gonna fall sixty to siding with the other big guys, which now means that you're a target and it's just gonna die, right? It, they they tried something and they did it wrong. I think the problem is that a group probably can't grow big enough to be able to fight. Like Amelia's group in the south without being done. I wholeheartedly or disagree. Out before I, I, I disagree with that, I think. I said, I, okay, let George, I don't know. I mean, I don't wholeheartedly disagree with it, but there's definitely a chance a group can move down there. Their organization, like on a coalition level, was pretty terrible, but I think Eltrig and No Value and we, the foundation and like the other Siege Crane and the other people that they were allied with certainly had the. Like numbers and the means of winning. But so they all have to blur fights. each other. To... They were already blue. They just it requires look it requires leadership. That's really all it. It requires an FC to ping every single day for those timers or be yeah. ready. They have the knowledge ready for it as well. Like a hundred nagas and they had uh, TFIs and whatnot that they just refused to field because they were already like what you're doing. I think rationalizing defeat. Like our enemies are too good, we can't possibly beat them, so we're just going to suicide nagas. And then yeah. attrition all of our numbers, and then we actually can't ever fight, which is effectively what happened to them. And uh, uh, you mentioned it, Mav. You had a problem in your small group with SRP, right? No SRP, people have to replace their own stuff. That's a huge problem. I've always disagreed with, like, not disagreed with the idea of SRP, but people depending on it. Like, if I was in a block, people in my fleets, when I was in Baltimore block, people would be applying for SRP and demanding it while my fleet is still happening and asking me, yo, I need money for the new ship already. I'm not even done yet. Like, can you not buy the ship and lose it and then wait a couple of hours? Like, it's this mentality but some, that but some I need of that, to be replaced. But that's not just no mentality, right? Like, some of that's also that's how everywhere. Member, yeah, and how members kind of how your leadership is set up, right? Like, if you if you try and move into no and you set up in a way that your your people can make a ISK and you're looking after them and all the rest of it, they're not going to worry about SRP immediately, right? I think I mean maybe the issue you had, Khan, with the the Volta side of things, if it was in the north, was that. Maybe there was a bit of an attritional thing there, right? So nobody was going out and making ISK. Which there was definitely there down. was a money issue. I mean, I don't think I was ever told, hey, we don't have any money. But there was definitely a hint enough that I was I started paying briefly, not all the time, very few times. I would pay myself some of the losses because I would say I took a fleet out. Usually I took fights and I would lose them. That was kind of my thing. I would take the fight, even though I was told, hey, they... Uh, even they're, they're matching you on numbers. The guy's probably a better FC. He's probably going to beat you up. Like, yeah, but I want to try it anyway. I replaced some of the losses because I always try to get this mentality. And I'm doing this in Big Ab now where it's like, don't be worried about losing your ships. Like I'm I'm paying for SIGs in Big Ab. I'm, I'm buying people ships. I'm like, right, go out there and do it and run the fleets and come back. Lose a ship or not, replace it immediately. We'll go out and have more fun. That's why I disagree it's, with the it's whole a really. Like, I, I've been in that position before, and, like, it's nice to, you know, have the money to kind of piss away and do that, but 
if, if you're not wanting to spend your own money, getting an alliance or a coalition to support that mentality is can be quite difficult. Um, and like trying to find an alliance with that mentality itself, I, I'm not sure that's a thing. Uh, I, I like the mentality, but yeah, I, I, I think it's something that an individual has rather than a group. Well, we've like flown off the Southeast Agreement bit a little bit in terms of topic. Yeah, Redline hasn't stepped in. I think Redline's fallen asleep. No, I haven't fallen asleep. I'm just. <laughs> you've got people in the chat talking like... about how much they're liking the conversation, so I'm just no, letting the fine. conversation continue. Like it's cool. fine. What other topics did we have? That one's boring. Uh, to um, be fair, there's only really like the Turner two, like... fight. The Turner yeah. fight wasn't boring. That was huge. That's not the one this... I said. I didn't say that one was boring, idiot. This know, one, yeah, this one that... will take up the entire. That one will take up the entire yeah. rest of the show. Yeah, the rest of the show, I imagine, won't be that one. So, I mean, we're I'm I'm good to move on whenever you guys are. But it it has been interesting have, to get a view. We have some relevant people here, like Jordi and Co. So and Asar, yeah. he was there for the early um, SDA as well. an idiot. So is that where we're going? We're we're moving on. Jordy, what do you think happens with the SCA when it like ticks down to midnight and every the one like? What do you mean? I, I like... think both blocks are going to like pretend that they're not going to move in, but I would be very surprised if uh, if XIX ran into any trouble pushing out of Imperium Soft into Faith Abolis that like in it didn't come to quote unquote help Wait, the content. But XIX His... aren't in Imperium Soft. They're right there, in SCA. Here's, a... Here's another one for you. Oh, okay. But they're if, not blue uh, to the Imperium, right? No, no, no sure. But they can, quote-unquote, not blue bat phone. You know, that's if this, for all if intents this... and purposes, they are. Let's be real if, here. If this agreement well, hang on, over... hang on. One, one second, Khan. Who, who are you saying that XIX is blue to? Pan, Fam, or the Imperium? Imperium. They're not blue to Pan, Fam, are they? No. Well, didn't... Didn't, you know, like, in it? I, okay, in it, technically. Yeah. So what, you think that, like, goons are, like... Happily yeah. gonna su uh, support I would be yeah. extremely surprised if that Russian goon sig did not respond to a bat phone for quote unquote content against Zerg. If X I am sure them. they still have court channels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I would be also it's... be very surprised if to counter that Imperium content you didn't see Panfam coming down in some manner or another. I agree. One hundred. Now here's a question for you, Jordy. If that agreement ticks over and they're stalling because they haven't got all the parties in agreement. At least from my point of view, I foresee one of the blocks trying to move down and on a timer that you're responding to with your flashy ships, because everyone sees you guys as flying flashy ships and flashy stuff, do they jump you to try and get easy kills? Because I foresee one of the blocks going, oh, absolutely. these guys think they're elite, they're the best in the game, let's show them by bringing 400 versus their 60. I, I actually think this will happen. That has already after. occurred. With Dude, when, when the agreement with expires, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do that. Like, fucking day one, happily. Exactly. <laughs> and that has already occurred with alliances that weren't blue to Imperium yet. Saw 200 mm -hmm. in-it hacks attempt to gank us through a drift, or not a drifter hole, but um, through Stain. When we were down in Esoteria, we were fighting some, like, like Triumvirate at the time. And in-it, the Astarte Sig was there to gank us in, like, A-hacks when we were flying. I think it was Bogger. Oh, yeah, I before. remember that. Yeah. yeah. So I would be extremely surprised if immediately um, groups were not just looking to kill our widows and whatnot. How many keep stars are in the south now? Is it just um, the one still? Or... I think one. Who is that well, one to? That's the third one, isn't it? Maud, you're part my king. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to think of any group who has... I was trying to think of any group who has the ability to defend a Keepstar, and Zerg would come to mind just because they're pure numbers. Depends who's sieging it, though, I guess. But if it's against other SCA groups, then probably Zerg, I would have thought, could defend I it. think all the SCA groups would have to combine together to siege it. Otherwise, one of the blocks has to break the agreement and come down and kill it itself. I don't think... I mean, oh, the agreement ends uh... in, like, a month and a bit, right? Yeah. So... That's I a 40 think... bell nug if anyone wants to go for it. I think that's yeah. I think it will be renewed, but no, it won't. It's, it's already, already been canceled. stated. It's coming to an end. It's no, already no. been stated. Yeah. It's it, it will absolutely come to an end. I'm, it's cancelled. Like, Ninety-nine percent certain of it. Yeah, the, the okay. South East Agreement was cancelled. Yeah, yeah. yeah the South East Agreement before yeah, they... comes to an end at downtime on the twenty-first. It is not happening. I don't they, they think they are not doing it. And did they give a reason why? I haven't read the Reddit post. I, it's on it. the Reddit post, but it was what I I, I said earlier that it's at least what in it cited. 
Okay. Too many Basically, it was a there. good experiment, but didn't exactly do what it sh needed to. And even if it did, it's not our job to make it happen. I, I believe those were the reasons. They're not, that's, not renewing. That's, some, that's, a, that's They're not doing anything. They're just right. they're threatening overwhelming force by yes. also agreeing with the others. I. So what it is yeah, is, I, I think they look at these BRs and. I would be surprised if they members aren't complaining to their CEOs about, like, bro, this would be so yeah, awesome to go to in a Kiki fleet. There. Why aren't we there? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I can understand that when you run a group like in it or Goons or Horde, you've got like a thousand voices yapping at you. Hey, I want this content. I want this. I want this. I want this. I understand. Look at this that. huge yeah. BR we could own. You know, that sort of thing. And also, if you were looking at it from an objective point of view, if you look at all of the Snowflake BRs, it mostly is just Snowflake wiping the floor with. Like, you're not killing anything expensive, you're killing a bunch of Cyclone fleet, Fleets. Like, I see that over and over, like, the same group smashing Cyclone Fleet Fleets into your face. And you're Maybe there's a way for these groups' memberships to not be so wildly foaming at the mouth for any minor form of PvP other than this. And what would that no, way be? Right. <laughs> An all-out war, I guess? I don't no, know. No, it's Phantom no, just talking about going yeah, to Lowe's back and doing some in small groups, yeah. Phantom yeah. I don't want Nullsec. Well, no, that is... It is but a I come great back segue, around, you know, come to the to next thing. Point, I come around to my original point. Through the entirety of NullSec and LowSec. The only NullSecers in LowSec right now are the, are the few opportunist, like, small gangers and the NC fucking 20 multiboxers who are farming Angel LP. If you look at all the Angel Cartel crap right now in their space, it's just Algoses upon Algoses. Disgusting, isn't it? <sighs> I don't know. It's it's a CCP mechanic. It's not their fault that they're exploiting it that way. It's it is a CCP mechanic. It is their fault. Not, they they could it's just not, not an excuse it. for it to be no. like that. No one. No, Mav, you can't use that logic. Why should no, they can. not exploit it? Why should they not exploit it? It's there to be exploited. No, it's not. Wait, what's that? That's like saying that the Abyssal Siege sh uh, tie-in should have been abused. No, because there, there, there are things I mean, that are declared as exploits, right? Versus uh, yeah, but what if it hadn't have been mechanics? declared? What if it hadn't have been declared as an exploit? Like then everyone uses then, it. Then, then it's not an exploit. It, yeah. People used didn't. It, yeah. People showed restraint. People who can. Uh... I think what I think you're overstating that. I think most people showed restraint didn't know about it or only loosely also knew about it. Also, couldn't afford it. At the I same mean, time. Fra Frat or suspected they might get banned retrospective it. retroactively for an exploit. Yeah. No, I mean, and... Frat knew about it and didn't use it because we were ninety nine percent sure it was going to be declared an exploit because it was so fucking broken. Like, there's there's sensibility of looking at something and going, "This is clearly an exploit, and this is one hundred percent clearly not intended and taking the piss." Hold on, are we, are we talking about that yeah. time about two years ago about um, Frat give uh, handing all of their yes. fighting members? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, we're talking listen, about that. Back. Listen, I, I I'm I, I was I was part I was there for that potential fight that got aborted because of because of that, <laughs> and I'm still furious to this day. It would have been that so good. That there could be any potential any potential attempt at a defence from about fraternity there is handing a them out handing had them out you guys were doing the same fucking thing it, yeah except we weren't doing we were exactly not. the same it's thing it's why they yeah, won't fit to our ships why did you have them because our intel including from one of your guys said you're going to do it so right put it in cargo <laughs> hold if these dickheads do it we will no, fucking okay. do it uh, well hold on no 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 you it, it took Hours and hours and hours beforehand, hoarding the materials and getting all the mutaplasmids and rolling them to get them ready to go. So why wouldn't you? If your enemy is going to do it and they're going you to do it and it's it. not You're the close next point, you, you prepare for it. What yeah. you didn't know was the conversation with CCP going on at the same time, saying, "Can Wait, you so confirm you snitched, this should be a man. fucking exploit?" Yes, because so it's fucking snitched. broken. Damn, Luke's a it's, snitch. No, look. It I, wasn't actually me, to be fair, but there were conversations going on at the same it's time. It's broken. And I'm on both sides. Like, well, um, Jordy, you're still here, right? Mm -hmm. What's that comment in Twitch chat? Imagine trying to remove Amelia. Even a block is going to struggle. That's where we need to be aiming. Is he talking about you? Wait, or she? What? He? Oh, I'm what? trying to understand that statement. Challenge sorry. accepted. I'm sorry, I didn't he, read it. Let me see. He, she is ask, is saying that they should be aiming at your group because they're gonna because even a block would struggle to remove you. Uh, I'm not reading that know. wrong, am I? You're not. I think that's just a bunch of mythos that gets like, I don't know, well, propagated in like standing fleet or something. It's I, really not difficult to fight even guess, thirty Nirvana battleships if you have like four hundred people. 
Yeah, I guess to reply to the comment, it's not like Jordi just said it. It's not easy, it's not hard to remove them. It requires effort, effort that some of your FCs don't know how to put in because all they know how to do is ping from the NJ keep star or the one DQ keep star, get in their monitor, either die like in back to a bubble. Like try have one die. regularly, right? By just farming a hundred TFIs and sitting there like under a jammer. <laughs> Or something. There, there, is, between... there is no amount of bling you can put on your fucking faction pirate battleship that will stop it dying to like 200 TFIs. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not saying this to encourage you to go yeah, blob wrong. the groups Hard in the Hard disagree south. with you there. Hard disagree. I, <laughs> Casey I, disagrees I with you because he puts abyssals on every single ship. <laughs> That's why Casey is always the primary. I Thanks, shoot Casey. Casey. Every... I shoot Casey and I'm in a fleet with him. Yeah. We can segue to Turner if you want, Redline. Oh, can we? Oh. I guess. Well, yeah. I, want oh, okay. to I see eye box in chat too. I'm very ex here. We, we have we have already been. Oh, this is arch. gonna be so good. Can I do the intro red line? Yeah, of course. So as, uh, I'll neutral... put the put the battle report yeah. on the screen here. As the right. neutral third party snuffed out member. Yeah, yeah. yeah third party. sixty bill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're about as much of a third neutral party. third party as America are in the Middle East, Mav. Hold on, Mav. Wow. Where did I tell you? Side as Shadow Cut out. Can you? Fix Where did that? I tell you if I found you on the same fucking side of Shadow Cut out again? Can you fix that? Fix what? That's Sorry, right. what happened? Move, move Shadow Cut out onto the right. You're on move the same. Shadow don't, Cartel don't... onto the right. Uh, no, I think the teams are right. I think the teams no, are good. That, yeah, they're they're is... very wrong, guys. The teams look fine. Okay, I think, stop, stop talking, I think stop all talking. the people with the right ideologies <laughs> are on the okay, on the so teams. What we're looking at here is uh, <laughs> there's a, a BR where the very Turner, the Turner Volta, Turner Volta, yeah, Turner Volta Fortizar was reft, uh by Big App. Previously, uh, Turner. Um, kind of had this coalition that I've been calling Turnico. Uh, what do you actually <laughs> call it, Khan? Uh, we just, we mean by it, we call it the blue donut. Yeah, so, yeah. Fuck it's not yeah. blue, for reference, anyway. before anyone starts I mean, spinning off what I just are. said. Okay, You're blue okay. and Turner. So now you've started this, now I need to cut in. Okay, yeah. no oh. one is blue and Turner. Okay, I uh -huh. was in Rote before, and now I'm in Big Ab, so I can see very two different sides of this. In Rote, Big Ab is the big, big entity in Turner, right? You can't really do anything around them yeah. because outside of Turner, we are not blue. I have been killed by Big Ab at least three times in my dreads when I do the dread stuff. We are not blue. But you then did I... it outside of, uh, outside of Turner, right? Yeah, we did it outside of Turner. So you, so and... you were blue in Turner. Okay. And so the agreement in Turner is very simple. We do not mess with each other on the wormholes or on our stations. We don't mess with each other on the wormholes because... It's going to be really annoying if all three of us are in fighting for wormholes every five seconds. Okay, we have different groups here who are not mentioned. We have the Russians, who, by the way, are really good at nano. They're really that fun base. guys to fly with. Yeah. There are there's a Russian group in there. They're not really under any sort of name. There's Volta, there's Big Ab, and there's Ro. Ro and the Russians do a lot of nano out of those wormholes. Big Ab does nano out of those wormholes sometimes. Volta does nano out of those, out of those wormholes. Snuff, snuff and, does as well. We do. Uh, we turn I don't, on again. You stay in Rakapa, so. Um, no. No one is blue in Turner. There is a meme, and yes, we don't shoot each other on certain parts, but actually there's a lot of infighting when it when the winter storm, Casey can back me up on this, when the windstorm site came in, we were killing each other like every day, multiple times a day. Because one of us would go run the site and the other group would see and then pile dog like everything in to kill it. Outside of Turner, no one is blue. That's the agreement and it's stayed that way. Maybe you can keep going. You brought it up, okay, so I had cool. to probably explain it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what happened was, I'm not sure the date, but uh, I believe it was Frat that were refing the Big Ab Fortizar. The Turner. old one. Yeah. The old, the old one. one. So, yeah, uh, Big Ab have a faction Fortizar and a Normie Fortizar, and they were refing the, the one about a week one. ago? Yeah. Probably. It was a week ago. I was there for that. I walked my dread over on I know, Tether. I've seen you talking in local. And they were like, please detether. And I got I had Rogue Herring, who by the way are amazing, our amazing CNTZ group, they're gamers. They were messaging me like, it's bait, don't do it. We have eyes on Friday. Yeah, I, I know. Go. Yeah. Don't I've got shop. eyes as well. Have bait. Yeah, there we yeah. go. I was getting uh, DMs. Can't, can't pass out. I love bait. Um so yeah, there's some local logs here that I can't show because there's too many words. Um, but basically oh yeah, I've I've got the date. It was the thirtieth of December, twenty twenty three, obviously. And uh, so, yeah, Frat are in there shooting it and, like, baiting. 
and um warranted they're shooting the big up for so no one yeah, else is involved shooting in this the big up for. frat is shooting big up that's it so far and then um he starts to see comments from various um nothing really careful how you word this you start to see comments from various people in Volta. Why do you have to be careful like, about how you word it? I, I'm just going to read it. I, no, no, no. You don't have to read it. I can put it on the screen for you. Me promise the tank engine transformers. Good yeah, doggy. See, I, I can put oh, it on the screen for you. It's right here. Victor. You Thank missed you the first one. Okay, everyone can read the screen. Everyone can read the screen. Yeah, yeah everyone oh, can read the screenshot. Wait, why I didn't did redact, redact anything. Doggies? Why is doggies redacted? I it's didn't start out. No. The this general, the general thing poster. is here. The general thing yeah. is there. People will get it. That was the worst intro to that that I've it's ever seen. By the way. Okay. I'm just saying anyway, it was really so bad you... because you you didn't even talk about the fight. You're going beyond the fight. Like you have to start it's out. It's, it's, you have to start out to talk fight, about you know, fucking moron. right. No, it's it's you have to talk about what happened, and then you have to talk about red line. Red line. No, He's the fight. Oh no, no, red line. God. Red line. Just You've got so it wrong. Fucking dumb. All right. All right. All right. All right. He's All introducing right. the fight. To the reason why this happened is yeah. what he's explaining, and it's very important and that that bit. I want yeah, the, like the politics of Tana. Uh -huh. I want to add some context. I want to add some context. No, Casey. You took what is what was on. What was just shown, what was just shown, was mm -hmm. after our CN members were posting in local. It was not FRAC that was posting in local. Okay, anyway, so... Who uh, that, really, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't matter at all, Casey, shut the fuck up. It does, okay. no, 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 it does, because Volta has been saying they didn't aim the comments at Rogue Herring. Whether they did or didn't, the fact of the it matter is, matter. It was Rogue Herring... Yeah. It was yes, it doesn't matter. It was racist. Yeah. The fact of the matter is they're saying it wasn't aimed at Rogue Herring. We're saying, okay, but Rogue Herring is typing in local chat. Then you yeah, say okay. this stuff right after Rogue Herring types in local chat. We put two and two I, together. I, I, That's yeah. a fair assumption. I didn't want to live in local with racists. Yeah. Anyway, so uh Big Ab declared a moral crusade and they refed the Volta Fortazar. And then uh yesterday the armor timer came out. And you saw, uh, well, I guess the day before that, you saw Snuff dumpster some Volta Dreads that were moving out, and one of them jumped to a, uh, a Freeport beacon and stuff. So, yeah, that Volta was a big ab one. Kind of, yeah, a big ab Freeport bait beacon. Bit weird, but anyway, yes, yeah, so you saw uh, Volta jumping Dreads out, and at some point, I'm sure Big Ab were also jumping out Dreads, getting ready to be able to jump them back in for the fight. Uh, and then, yeah, this kind of fight kicked off yesterday. Uh, Big Ab lost a Titan, Lamau. Um, Armor Volta rank. To... Yeah. Uh, you can pull Volta that up if you want, to... Redline. I can. Volta yeah, no, it's right to... here, actually. Bring, bring it up, then. Volta managed to defend the timer. I believe right now the Volta Fortazar is actually not reft. Uh, no, but it's not. We'll, we'll see kind of how it um, continues. Um, is there anything to talk about with the actual fight itself? Uh... I mean, like... Yes. I mean, I that Titan should not have died. So, it was a ludicrous yeah. bad sign now. At there, zero of the only remaining dreads that could kill it. Yeah. I was playing, so I did this entire fleet from my point of view on my phone. I was triple boxing no, on my phone. Sure. From, no, no, no. I, I'm not lying here. I was because I was away in London. I've only just got back today. I was triple boxing on my phone because they were like, let's get numbers in. So I was like, oh, we'll get numbers in. And I wanted to see the fight. And. Bolter drops dreads first. It took a long time for it to happen, to be fair. Like, yeah, Big Ab, Big Ab is refing the fort with long range dreads. If anyone doesn't know what that is, they park long range dreads outside the effective fort range of the newts, I think it is, right, Mav? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's yeah, at yeah. a certain range outside of the fort so that the dreads don't immediately die to the fort. It wasn't a yeah. very good fort fit from what it's I've been told, anyway. So yeah, new fort of Vega. So it's long range dreads. Who are pausing the timer. It's very slow. The fort is very large HP. Big Ab is already on grid with a tier 5 fleet. Volta is also on tether with a tier 5 fleet and apostles. And there's also a Snowflakes Bargus fleet helping them. Uh, I think that's what I got. Volta yeah. then drops their first wave of dreads. I don't know what the numbers were, but it was a large amount of dreads, mostly T1, some navies in there. Then I, Big I'm Ab responds sure with their dreads. Fielding, uh... They were fielding their patented uh, dual tank Naglifars. Oh, God. Yeah, and no, oh, there is a kill mill there, kill mill there somewhere. I'll see if I can find no, it. No, they, they genuinely have that as a doctrine, like dual tank Naglifars. 
I don't know. I don't I, know. Some I, I, looked, I looked into it a while ago. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's certainly not some 200 it's... IQ play. <laughs> yeah, no, they they think it's a two hundred. Like I feel like it's a it's a we've discussed this too much and people have got too many ideas. It's gone through too many channels, too many mouths, and everyone's like, right, let's just do it. I it's not the... gone through too many mouths at all. It came from Chaucer. Like he's the one yeah. dude who was fucking I... telling them all to do it. I, I know that both it came teams from played the fight relatively well. Um, yeah, you I, did. I, sorry, I think, I think both teams played the fight relatively well until uh, Big AB signed the, the yeah. zero. It, um, yeah, it was it was pretty then, clean apart from the supers at zero, which was very questionable. Which I'm I mean, also was a bit also surprised to find not getting reft. Well, no. So the thing is, actually, I I thought that the rag died because it got lanced by a um a lancer dread, because obviously, like the lancer dread would cause the reps from faxes to I think it's half. We just it is half. Yet. Yeah, which is like very significant, and you probably could kill an armor rag in that time. But one, it clearly didn't have implants in based on the damage it took, and two, it just didn't need that, I guess. So I, I they yeah, didn't need so to be that close. From from the big POV, half I couldn't get a clear shot. Half the people said it bumped. Half the people said it. It didn't. did bump. It did bump a little. It definitely bumped. I watched. What it. I got yeah. one, once I went through all the messages, what I got from it was. Uh, a lot of our faxes, when it did bump, a lot of our faxes got out of range. I think it was half mm. our faxes were out of range of the reg, the other half were in range. Wait, so I, you dropped all your faxes at the same time? I wasn't in the fax ring, so I don't know if we dropped all our faxes. I wasn't in. The, I also wasn't FC in the fleet, so I have no yeah. clue. But, but it also it bumped towards a big group of Zenitras as well. Yeah, which yeah. Like, obviously doesn't help. Basically, yeah. I know the guy who lost the Titan. I talked to him. He Does he want to buy a new bad. one? Yeah. <laughs> I think, he, I think he has already. Time. I'm pretty sure oh, he has what already. What the fuck? I DM'd him asking if he wanted to buy mine. Um, I'm pretty sure he has already replaced it. Uh, um, better Titan. It's not a case of, oh no, this guy's poor now. He can definitely afford multiple of these losses. It's just an unfortunate series of events where he didn't have a pod. Um, I don't believe, based on the damage. You're, I agree with you. Based on the damage, he didn't have a pod. He bumped hard towards a Zern wing. Yeah. And now Volta have made that fort worth a Titan loss. Which isn't the best case scenario, so they yeah. win that BR for that one. I Are think you gonna he... continue reinforcing it? Well, I think I'm they sure have to. Dark. That's what he said. What I've told, what I've, what I've talked to a couple of the Volta dudes that they're, you know, they're loving the win, and I'm like, yeah, but I, my message has always been the same: the fort will die because, yeah. and I said this plain and simple: big about forms you in your prime yeah. time zone, and that's not surprising. I'm not well, saying. Week from being up north, like well, they... no, their Volta numbers were pretty good no, not because they swallowed I mean, like, financially and yeah, kind of like they're not going to be in the position to like pump out dreads like Big Ab has been in the position to do for how long have they been in Turner and like life well, in general. Yeah. I've said the same. Thing. The fort will die, but they got their win with the time kill. So the time the the fort is now worth a time kill. We can all admit that. There's no I'm not drinking any Kool-Aid here. Yeah. They got the time kill, which is fair play to them, but that fort will die. Um for the same oh, wow. reasons it was reft for. Like that's not changing. I don't think numerically die. that's the reason it's going to die. The reason it's going to die is they won't kick Kenzie. If you just kick yeah. Kenzie, we, all these problems are resolved. Like, we're See, avoiding the subject of there was racism. Oh, no, let's hang not on, avoid hang on. the subject. We, we've we're not get, been we're avoiding guessing it. To that point. We, but, were, we were working up yeah. to it. We, we, but that's we just fine. know that, like, it's kind of like a, an explosion when we, like, okay. Kind of, okay when, like, so essentially, yeah. Here was when my intro. Up, Ross, yeah, go ahead. You ready? <laughs> so, look, I had this planned out. So, while some people got a ton of loot from the Turner fight, other people are just getting salt because people say things like this on Reddit. And it's what Kenzie said after all those comments were put out. And you're talking about the local logs. These guys right here, where he called whomever it is, some Chinese speaker, dogs, by saying that they he didn't speak dog. And then uh, he and this other guy did the Thomas the Tank Engine thing. Yeah, are you mm. gonna post that? Fun time. Yeah, no, it's on the screen. No, I don't actually understand the, what that is. Oh wait, no, the the rip, the retort from uh, uh -huh. the Volta, which is addressing the actual problem. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this one right here. You got that one. Yeah, this uh, right here, this guy. Hang on. 
No. So basically, this is something that a lot it of people don't they, they don't talk about. No, this was the response from Kenzie. No, the other one that got posted today. And uh, before we move on it. from you can, that you can post that you have it. on this, before we move on from that post, we all we can all acknowledge the fact that he apologized. I mean, apologies Did depends he? on the person. Well, Did he apologize? This is his at version the, of an apology. At the if end, we ignore it. If we uh, ignore it, there's going to be a lot of people in there like, oh, he apologized, you're ignoring this, you're fucking doing this, this, and this. I will just, just, I will just very... He apologized. I will, no, 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 no. I, I will just very simply ignore this, because the thing that he is apologizing for is how he signed off the fucking post. What are you talking yes, about? Yes, I know. The, I the know. apology was yeah. for saying the shit like, oh, my Thomas I mean, tank engine thing is I'm broken, please not... fix it. Like that, that's, I'm not that's defending him. For. I'm not defending him, but I'm well, trying fine. to stay neutral in it because yeah, don't a, stay neutral. Is... Fuck it. He's a piece Wait, of shit. Why? No, hang on, hang on. Why are you being mm. neutral, Con? Because like Be I'm here okay. to play devil's advocate for Volta. Okay, you know why I'm being neutral? Because we'll we'll have Volta in the chat who are spinning what yeah. their, their story is. If if they want to be in the chat, that's dying fine. on a that's hill fine. with this racist piece of shit, then they can. Okay, that's, that's their that... hill to die on, isn't it? Redline, you got to understand Volta culture. They will die on that hill. This is their Ooh, entire culture. Their entire culture is being represent. edgy. Okay, like you are kind of here to represent the Volta people as well. Yeah, and we can't really rely on Casey to represent Big Ab because, well, Casey, you should yeah. talk. <laughs> no, no, he shouldn't. Yeah. He'll so, so talk. when we talk reasoning behind, you know, what's happened in Turner. With that four is are being reft. It's it's for it's for these these comments. But is, but, yes. but 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 you it's can't a say that you can't say that Big Ab haven't wanted an excuse to get rid of them for a while. Like um, tensions have I mean, been building. Maybe and yes yes no 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 it's not a maybe redline. I will conf yes they okay the whole feeling the general feeling of Volta they don't like him that much because of the culture that Volta but represents whether people have different views on that culture is completely up to them. Yeah. If they do, if Volta denies that they have that sort of culture, they're freaking idiots. Okay. They have well, that sort of culture. It's yeah. an I find edgy... this background pretty interesting I... from like a, I don't know, I, I suppose like a historical standpoint, because I would point at literally every single group in the game as having like a quote unquote Kinsey. So we so should. I, I'm interested in hearing from Big should... AD, like what made Kinsey worse than, I don't know, say Seto or. Something Redline, like you should hard R playing, like work off and whatnot. I should what? Hello, Redline. Show the picture I posted. What picture that you posted? Which one? Jesus Christ, you're so bad at this. Just it link blinked. it to him again. Just link it to him again. Oh, you didn't link me anything. Gonna, yeah, everyone's, everything's going to come out here. I'll get to Geordie's like, point when that post comes out. Cause... Send the DMs. Okay, yeah, we'll okay, screenshot. shit. You don't have to link it seven times. Good well, lord. Apparently I do. You linked it zero times, dude. Calm down, fucking Zoomer brain. Jesus Christ. Okay, buddy. Okay, what am I what am I looking at here? Addressing the actual problem. Oh, just you could have yeah. just said that. Because I have that right here too. Okay, bring it bring it. So this 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 no you bullshit right here, this guy? Mm hmm I don't know, it's not on this there we go. Yeah. So, so what, what about it? I, I spoke to Tim and like he confirmed it's a real screenshot. Okay. Uh, there's yeah. kind of some hype going around at the moment that uh, because Tim said the N-word four years ago, he can't kind of stand up for this stuff in 2024. And... Yeah, this came out almost immediately after like Reddit started gaining traction. Someone found that one and started posting it everywhere. So this was uh -huh. this is the counter to the yeah. reason why Tomoxa decided to ref the four. I also talked to Tim about it. I sent him the screenshot and he explained it to me. And his base, I can read it so I don't misquote him. That's but a good idea. His, he, what did he say? Well, you said you can uh... read it. Just read it. He has to find it, idiot. I'm aware. I'm not trying to chase anyone down for the screenshot. It's made the rounds already. I'm willing to stand by what I've said in the past and own up to it, even when it's wrong. I'm willing he, to own yeah, up to he it. said to me, it is actually true. I did say that. I don't try to hide it from anybody. I no. said some goofy shit before, but that's why I try to run my group better. I'm not proud of it, and I've gotten my shit for it before, but that's why I try to run a group where that shit doesn't fly, so that other people don't make the same mistakes that I have. I figured it would have come up eventually as it was directed at someone who was involved with it at the time. Now, that this goes I into stand Geordie. by my mistakes. Yeah. This goes by Geordie's point. Like, Geordie's completely right. 
every group in the game is going to have someone who has said something like this in the past. And I said this to Tim uh, when we were discussing this. I said, when you go down, in my opinion, when you go down this road of, a, it's not a moral, moral high ground as such, but when you use this as a reason, everyone has skeletons in their closet that people are going to start bringing out because it's Eve, for fuck's sake. Everyone says shit like this. I'm not justifying it, by the way. I'm saying everyone has this. I guarantee you find most people, they will all have said this stuff once upon a time. Tim stands by what, as in he owns up to what he said. Yeah. That's I not going to yeah, change. Yeah. I should have probably used bad words, but yeah. Yeah, you, I was trying to word it in a way. He's not, this is not going to change why we ref the Vault of Thought. The Vault of Thought is still going to die for the reason. I think the difference is, as far as I'm concerned, and I can be told by, by Bolter leadership themselves if it's wrong, there was, it was requested that Kinsey get kicked. If Kinsey gets kicked, this problem goes away. The, the threat of the fort being ref goes away. Yeah, but Star Trek commanders are never going to do that. So, so Actually, what people be clear, have been I don't saying. Have, like, an issue, I guess, with that being the logic, insofar as I still find it like weird to then, after the fight, like, I don't know, denounce anyone, including Snuff, who attempted to assist them as like being on the side of racism with such. Skeletons I mean, in your closet. Members still in we, your group. We did get paid 60 bucks. Um, breaking your own white letters, shit. apparently. According to what Moxie said. Oh, sorry, um, say that again, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. It, like, already violating your own like white papers, I suppose, based on what Nadrad just posted in, like, Cesspool General. Uh, um, I'm gonna check having Seto in Guild, or just... Volta are even the same group that they were when they moved into Turner. So you chose to associate them with them to begin with like they were saying all of these things to frt so like why now i guess and i, I also what, have what changed i guess like, i have something just on because it was directed at your alliance member point someone in big ab this not this year but like uh in the last month called uh snuffed out kind of as a group uh the f homoso homophobic slur and uh some other stuff Directed send me down. that. Just send me that like, uh, in the DM. Uh, if you've... Th th I've got a video of it somewhere. Just send that uh, to me. If they don't know it about went, it. Then... It went to Tim. No, no, it's, it, but like, we, we didn't ref, you know, the Turner fought over it and, you know, like, we didn't demand that that guy got kicked and he didn't get kicked, but it's weird that Big Ab have the expectation that, just to play devil's advocate a bit here, it's weird that they kind of expect Kinsey to be kicked because of it, but they're not willing to kick their own. And I, I, you know, it's someone who I'm sure provides some value to Big Ab, probably like Kinsey does, but Volta has to kick him, but Big Ab is above kicking this guy. I mean, I Ooh. think it's even a fine demand. I just find Who's... the rhetoric surrounding anyone who opposed you afterwards to be kind of cringe. Whose that, job so... is it to kick these people from the, the space? Alliance leader, yeah. I no, mean, it's, like, it's been... CCP's job at the end of the day. Right. But they don't, they, the problem is CCP only moderate in game interactions. They don't moderate out of game moderate activity. I mean, so for you, the, initial, like... the initial thing that sparked this, as far as we're all concerned, is an in game interaction. But I don't think CCP would do anything anyway. It's not a. Oh, the, no, I, 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 they for. haven't. They haven't done anything, is what I've heard. I, I'm trying to expect it's it's not that it's not obvious racism. I can't word it properly. It, it's up to interpretation. Some people find this yeah. offensive, some don't. Well, it's something I that you know is going to get a rise out of a particular culture without yeah. being like innately offensive. Like, if I call someone a doggy in here right now, generally, like 90% of the channel isn't going to be angry. But if I direct it like racially with a perhaps an inflection of making fun of, I don't know, just an and East Asian culture in particular, then, then it gets a bit more questionable, right? Because I'm interacting think... with that group that I can offend. DCP can't ban for that. No, they, don't, like, they don't recognize race in the game. And should... I think, okay, I would disagree with that. If, can, if, okay, let's put it this way. In my mo, in the mo, let's think about the most obvious racist term that we can think of right now. It would be the N word, right? If someone said that in game, that is the least confusing, most obvious, direct way of being racist to someone. If Kinsey had said that, right. I think CCP have more of a chance to ban him. I find That's it weird that you point, can even say the N word in game without it just getting censored. To be honest, it, you know, it like Todd Penguin. Yeah. 
Like, I mean, I I've think... seen it. I've seen it during the Goon War and stuff. I saw a Goon I can't War. explain it well, Jordy, but I'm trying to say that they like it's not obvious enough for CCP to do anything about it. But anyway, we're we're sidetracking from that point of like I mean not really, because there were people in the chat talking about how I'm you know not, it's I'm CCP's job to police that stuff, true. but CCP yeah. doesn't police it. So that's well, I, that's where it can't. becomes okay. the player's job to do it, because we have to be the people that are saying, hey, this type of stuff isn't okay to do and have to, you know, say we don't want it in our groups. That's and our the job. Is people, I think people are kind of willing to just go with the flow most of the time. Also, people are happy to be racist to frat. Doesn't matter. Yeah, like, let's take, let's like take, like, racist let's take, frat. let's take every opinion that we have of frat out the window. Botting, all the accusations, everything. Frat is a group in a game mostly consisted of Chinese players. Now, from my experience, I've heard, and I've never seen the evidence of frat Chinese players being quote-unquote elite to the, I mean, Luke would probably deny it, and that's fine, uh, to the English side of frat maybe, or to any other language side, there is a def, apparently there is a elite culture within that group. Let's take all that out for a second. A what culture, and, sorry? Let's say, for example, the, the, the Chinese, uh, the, what was it? Uh, China, there was a Reddit post about it, the Chinese-born or Chinese-living frat members being... But basically, so... Francis McLean has always had a, an ongoing point okay. his point, numerous times about there being yeah. a two-tier system in frat. Now, Correct. I'm not going to sit and defend it either way. I'm happy to have yeah. a conversation with anyone about it because actually the, tr the inverse is actually true in a lot of ways, but... I get the point that Khan is getting at, so I don't want to turn this into an argument on that point. That's right. That's well, why I, I wasn't trying to turn into that. Is there actually a two-tier system? Or... There's a two-tier system in every group. Mav, yeah, I but think. in front. Like, is not like an explicit He's one. Not, not explicit. Not explicit. It depends on what you define as two-tier, right? Like, there's two cultures, yeah. yes. Do those cultures act in different ways to each other? Yes. Because yeah, I mean, but the problem, cultures, right? but... that's kind of to be expected, given like the complexities of like geopolitics and Asia. yes so yeah. that's not I, really I, a big point i didn't want to harbor on that point if we take all yeah, this it's out not worth it. it's not... reddit I, reddit I at the it moment like something controversial but no okay no. so what i'm trying i'm trying to get the reddit post for you redline if not mav you can look for it it's uh okay. it's members on reddit justifying the racism towards frat everyone's getting confused but they think volta is being racist towards the frat people frat people in uh -huh. local now we've already cleared this as in the chat logs rogue herring is typing then Volta is typing. Well, the one person People... I looked up from that local chat log, the one immediately preceding Kinsey, uh, was a frat guy. So, so, I mean, so I'm not to saying be... that Rogue uh, Herring not... don't have a valid interpretation of it being directed at them. I also don't think it's a completely invalid defense. For I've... The movie. I've definitely like said something in a chat channel and like someone has typed something before me. And so it's looked like I've said something totally out of pocket yeah. to someone random. So, so like it kind of doesn't really. What happen. I think what the bigger problem here is people are justifying the racism towards frat and, the, and it's twisting the whole thing. Like on Reddit, it's multiple people literally and they're dying on this hill. It's like, yeah, but it's frat. So it's okay. I mean, it's um, kind of like, stupid to die it's, in it's, 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 mudding, it's mudding the water. It's completely, like, getting they rid of it. Be. God is right, smart, right? People, smart people it's... know that racism is not okay. And they can saying, tell when someone is being racist and saying racist things. I was saying functionally things. a year ago, when the war in the North, like, even started, that Brave and Bolta and Bob had a severe issue with being racist towards, yeah. like, fraternity. Which is why I find it so, like, mind-boggling, actually, that boggling. only you now is... Them. Big A B like up like taking an issue with it, like, I guess because it's ambiguously directed at their members, but they're fine they're... to work with these people previously when they know them for the, like the preceding year, having worked with Frat and fought against Volta. Like they, they aren't strangers; they knew who they were getting into bed with. There, there have been multiple incidents that pushes Volta more and more towards out of favor with Big Ab. There are multiple people on Big Ab on in Volta who are banned on Big Ab comms because they were dropping slurs in combined fleets where the turn of blue donut meme when we would do combined mob bomber fleets to kill blocks and stuff like that they were dropping slurs they were dropping stuff and they would be banned from the chat there have been incidents that have led up to this time so obviously at some point big ab leadership decided that this is the time now to step in and go right we want them out of turner for this when reason, are you gonna post your receipts come receipts right i need to give them to red because i have like 
Yeah, I'm just, red okay, line I'm just... your like policy of like. Like I suspect these aren't new players. Yeah. I've redact. Like... I've redacted yeah. a lot of this uh, red line, but then again, you posted the one without it being redacted. So, so I, I don't know. I, did I post something bad? I didn't. No, see no, no, you didn't. No, no, no. no that's we, what I'm there, saying. there are worse things that I told Khan to redact because I figured like. You were just yeah, yeah, be yeah. Any, anything that would be that need, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, that's most. Right. I am fucking so annoying can, about that. So you're you right. can look at your DMs now. This is for when it comes up. I'm posting them as they come right now. So. I thought it did. Come okay, up. so is this just is this just going to be people is, saying this slurs? Is, this is if so you don't so, have to just send me a bunch of screenshots of people saying slurs. Yeah. Like, so I this is it. different people on Volta saying this. So there's a lot of people going, oh, it's not Volta, it's uh it's kinsey it's just kinsey well this is my reply to it's not just volta okay oh, well it's... even okay, i don't so think people like, i don't think I people just... have said that i think that people agree like that there is an issue with this alliance with this but type of behavior is, it's consistent Jordy's and point... nobody's doing anything about it sorry to hang, hang, to shoot you. hang on sorry to shoot you in the back con but um <laughs> Jordy's point still kind of stands because it some does, of the yeah. screenshots that um you know like i've seen were like from 2022 oh big up you're talking about yeah. big, big, big uh, members. no the volta screenshots right yeah but that's why i was trying to lead on they have like i you guys they have must kind have... of known their shitters for years yes we i'm i have known their shitters i've been in volta i know oh, yeah. not shitters i i know they have a an environment which promotes or is okay with that sort of behavior yeah. i know that personally what I'm saying is they... D I'm not in leadership channels in Big Up. I have no fucking clue what's going on there. What I'm saying is they decided at some point to sit down and go, right, this was the limit. Like, can we do, can we do something about it now? Like, can we get they must have had that discussion. In here? Because it kind of feels bad for Khan having to play both sides of this. You're probably not going to get anyone. They don't... No, I guarantee I'm not playing. I, I guarantee they're still feeling like they're getting... I don't know. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're yeah, but you're yeah, giving a better shit. rep... You're doing a better, like, kind of point of representing them than they are because they're not here. Someone said, "Let's get back on topic with the Southeast Agreement." Well, we useless passed the Southeast Agreement. Yeah. That's what this I is. Can... Say this is a useless conversation, okay. but that's you're in the box. chat watching the stream. That's a Volta. Dude. I mean, we also, know. I mean, that's a Volta dude. I look. I can speak to as a past Volta member, as a past B two We Form Blob member. I asked my corporation two days ago, hey, I heard about this. Who do you think it was? And in a low, monotone voice, everyone said, Kinsey. This is not something that historically has never happened with this particular person. And well, to, like people of like just it's not just Kinsey. No, and it, and I'm not saying it is just rocks, Kinsey. So where I'm getting to is I've also had interactions on comms where I'm like, oh, that was fucking racy, you know? Um, and that is not different than any corporation. And so when I start to compare things to like Travis Muskrat from way back when I <laughs> see yep. anyone remember Travis? Yeah, yeah this is the same part. shit. It same is. exact shit. Okay. Except this one is now someone saying, hey, that's not cool. And in given the chance to apologize, you know, that's a pretty veiled apology. And it would be nice to know that someone wants to do something about it. Um, someone called to attention, you know, like I, I get a lot of shit for bringing Spicy McNicey in my corporation. Yeah, he is a um, master piece of shit. He he's made comments no longer about in my like... corporation oh, okay. because I learned okay. he, I kicked him. It's not okay. fucking hard to police your own group. And that's I why mean, it, I'm so strong about it. It did take it. you six months to kick a bot up. But... It did, but well, not hey. on your, your evidence. I found my own. I said, whoa, not cool. I also he found my own with Spicy. Like, in my and interaction were, with like, Spicy there was anti-Semitism. I, I am and Jewish. Loads. And I said, nah, this ain't cool. Boom, done. I think that all so, these arguments could be stopped forever if they, we would they, just all just do what Mav says. Yeah. True. I, um, no, that would go so bad. Can we so not go bad. down that road? Mm. Oh yeah, that's kind of like really bad. Yeah. But I will say, you know, and where I'm getting to is my experience with Volta. I love the group deeply. Am I a part of Volta? No, I absolutely love them. I've seen when those love, those like people be. Um, I love people in Volta. I do not like the racist in Volta, right? Yeah. I don't. I love people in Big App. I don't like the racists in Big App. 
Um, what those That's those funny. leaders of those groups decide to do, though, is going to be really important. So, like, if Wait. anyone needs to say anything today, it's I hope you listen and you decide to do something about that internally. And I think the issue here is, as far as the story is concerned, and I'm begging people to prove me wrong or correct me if I'm wrong, there was an offer on the table to kick Kinsey. Now, in my mind, that's a fair offer. No. Is the instigator? I don't, I don't think anyone can ver verify that here. No I one don't can think verify that can. here. If Starfleet wants to verify it, fine. It would probably save. I mean, anyway, the offer was there apparently. It's a four desire. Right? It was denied. Yeah, it's a four desire that we're fighting over. It was denied. Like, they said no. That implicates you in it. You're denied. Like, if you kick this one member, and Kinsey's a good friend. I, I'm friends with Kinsey. I've met him IRL. We went to FanFest together. He's a good guy. He says some stuff that's terrible, and he has really bad opinions sometimes. But I know him IRL. He's not like this IRL. The offer was given no, on the table. People on like you can say that a lot. Yeah, different. I'm just, I'm, I'm derailing. The offer on the table, as far as I was concerned, was that they needed to kick him, and the the issue would go away. That was not accepted. Like, um, so. Now the, the 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 fort is shot, and we had a big fight about it. Volto dropped their dreads first. Uh, big Ab dropped a response. I don't know when Snuff came in because I'm not gonna lie to you, Mav. My phone was at one FPS. They came in uh, pretty near the end. Own no, wife. No, we like, didn't. Yeah, you so did. You came in when it was pretty much all said. They came in at no, the start didn't. to defend yeah. racism. Oh. So did you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, you were on tether with us. On the we actually went on tab. Well, on the as you know, you are our, on, on the bottom four. Our Chinese CEO Amelia Duskase is a staunch <laughs> xenophobic racist, so we had to side with Volta. And to be fair, we did get paid sixty bill by Volta to turn up. So, yeah, it was uh we got sixty bill to rock up, and then we got a bit more when we dropped our dreads, and uh yeah, it was I think it was about eighty to ninety bill we got. Did you guys get paid or no? You know, they called in the EU4 style favor for uh -huh. saving us from a Mega Blob. Ah, uh, makes sense. So, uh, we had to save uh, them from Vala, a Mega Blob. Is Vala gonna, like, join the chat to defend themselves? Oh, Rilo joined the server. Come in, Where bro. Is he? I doubt anybody's gonna come and defend. Is that what the Rilo Rilo's Rilo's literally join? just he's joined, dude. Oh, Can no. they join? Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, there he is. Well, we'll see how he's this goes. Uh, from here on out, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. If he doesn't talk in the text to speech thing from the Ezekiel videos, I'm gonna be really <laughs> upset. Hello? Let's go, team race is in twenty twenty three. Great. Hello, are you Volta? No, no, I'm just here vibing. Don't mind me. Oh. It's uh it's I'm being the, uh, up on Volta. Ryload is the low sec criminal man. Is that what you typed that was the last video, wasn't it? Illegal uh, activities in the Athenor. It was um I live in I live in a uh, low income housing. There you go. Yeah, I like that video. Why Why is this guy trying to like get the like topic change of southeast southeastern agreement? agreement? We already uh, changed it. Yeah, like uh, we spoke about it. Yeah, we did the FBI awesome. agreement for like an hour. It, yeah, well, it's, it's probably honestly, it's talk. probably probably a southeastern agreement member who doesn't okay, get well, to know anything about this, time. you know. And I mean, that's we, what I would say is like, hey, re, re you know, re listen. So can, Rilo, yeah. what's the internal feeling like? Is everyone still just saying "shut the fuck up, Kinsey"? Like tradition, or mm. <laughs> you feeling energized from the big win, or what? Objective dub, Titan killed, total volta victory. I right? feel like that's the feeling. Um, he's choosing. Damn, I have to he's... keep my words careful here, so I'll. Uh... Oh, he's on team speak or mumble right now. Yeah, he's called. getting 19, fed the lines. Yeah, he's getting past the paper right now. Nah, nah, I'm muted on team speak, so. <laughs> For he's no muted, reason but he's at not all, deafened. I'm invested in this answer. I need to know. To be fair, like, Khan had put in a lot of work playing both sides of the argument, so. They what don't feel like that. Mm. Look, at, look at the bottle chat. They don't feel like that. It's fine. I, I try my best to be objective. Like, it is what it is. Right, They're latching on to like the one comment. Kinsey is a dumb fuck. We we all know this. I would say that, and I know him pretty well. Yeah, it's astounding. Still, I think that Big AB blew them in Turner, knowing that. 
Yeah. It's, it's like all... uh, it's like turning a blind eye until it finally bugs your members enough. I okay, so I'm just Pass gonna it. put. I'll put the offer to bed. I got. I, I'm. I'm talking to Big Up Leadership. They are confirming yeah. that the offer was kick Kinsey or the the fort is reft. They are confirming that the offer was denied. So yes, my point was if you're denying that offer, you're associating your group, your entire group. This is why I say Volta. You're associating your entire group because it's your leadership denying the offer. I don't care about whether it's just Kinsey saying that. Your leadership denied the offer to kick one racist guy out for the comments he made. Therefore, that implicates your entire group. So you can stop peddling that on Reddit because that is what it's associated with. Oh, spicy. Nah, I deny so, it too. So, one, out of spite. Two, yeah, because I've never seen gonna... the ABA kick any of the single people that do. It's true, they didn't stuff. kick the racist that I said. I'm going to play some devil's advocate here. Some real devil devil's advocate. Why should they? Why should they kick like people for for doing Being things racist? like that? Yeah, like who who I mean, are you, you like to them? Before, it's not who me. are it's you not my... to them to make them? They need to do the this, otherwise what? Who can destroy your stage? Or... Okay, no, okay, okay but right. in the grand I'm scheme no of deal. things, that's what a four design. I'm yeah, and we're no one. I'm no one. I'm not there to tell you tell Volta what to do, but then don't go on Reddit or go on chat channels and say, but it's not Volta, it's one dude. If your group doesn't kick that person, you associate yourself with that. It's not, I'm not telling you to kick them. Okay, it's a simple decision. You kick them, your fault gets saved. You don't lose your fault. You stay in Turner. Yeah, but now, if, you won't if stay they in aren't willing to kick their own racists, then one, why would you do that? And two, how do you know like they're not going to ask more of you in the future? Like, hey, come to this fight or we'll kick you from Turner. Hey, like, give us access to your pings or we'll kick you from Turner. It's an impossible you know? question. I can't answer it. I, I mean, I guess someone I has to answer. start. It's the chicken before the egg, well, you know, I, in this those, particular those, case. Those examples there, hey, kick this person or we'll kill you for, or, and then, like, tell us your intel or we'll kick. These are very different things. Essentially, the racism thing is um, a pub, uh, an extremely public ask of right them. but big it's, 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 it's asking in public f as a way to try and win socially rather than the in-game so you can't compare the two mm. differently but Bingo. if they're not willing to kick their own racists why would you that is that is exactly the devil's advocate question i was asking luke why that is a good question why whether, do whether they that or not. do these things in pursuit of social justice instead of just keeping things to in game. Yes, I understand the comments are in game, but it's not about spaceships. Why should it matter? I mean, I... surely your spaceships, your spaceship actions can be based on real life. This was Why the point I gave, I gave to Tim in DMs when I sent him the screenshot of the, the, you, the screenshot you put up of the Thomas the Tank Engine meme. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about that. And my point to him it was pretty much exactly what you said is doing it on a morally high ground or, or social justice, whatever you want to call it, is a slippery slope. At the end of the day, Big Al wants to kill the Volta Fort. It's going to die. We lost a Titan over it. I'm huffing, I'm drinking my Kool-Aid right now as I say this. But I, mean, I told if... him it's a slippery slope to base your campaign over. And he understands that. If Big App keep paying Snuff and they keep giving uh, Snowflakes favors, then... Maybe it won't. No, no, our uh, slate is clean. It's a one for one. Yeah, Ask but Ryland. if they keep giving you favors, right? True, we'll have an eternal yeah. battle. And we'll have a bunch of money. Kind of based. It's, uh, what you call it, improve relations and uh, uh, give uh, do cats no. yeah. for favors. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I think Volta are coming out of this ahead. Like, 900 no men for no one, one favor. No one on Reddit cares about the racism. A bunch of other people seem not to care about the racism. They get a bat fine with snuffed. And well, it's, that's because this game is extremely racist against bigger. Chinese people in general. Like they've associated frat with China yeah. and the Chinese nationality in general. So every negative from fraternity ever that someone's experienced in this game is projected onto Chinese people. And any offense against Chinese people is like, oh well, I hate frat, so it's fine. I've uh, I've just been reliably informed that Jutsu will always come to Volta's defense as well. So. Well, I'm not surprised because I've been on Jitsu comms. It's, I mean, I like some of the Jitsu dudes, but I've also yeah. been on comms with some of their more but to return, people. I guess, kind of to on topic. I don't think a group is ever going to kick their members for, uh, let's call it racism, I guess. Like Kinsey said, in, like 
can see implied in local, right? Mm -hmm. Because everyone has the personal association with that member that, like, I think you might con. You're like, you're friends with them. You're not going to kick them from your guild because some, like, grandstander on Reddit or, like, on Discord or something is telling you to. And especially not when he has skeletons in his closet as large as he does. And but to imply then that uh, anyone who wants to know, hold on, there's someone who's enough for racism. Hold on. So what was that? So now? just to, wait, 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 just to answer Joe's question, if I was in Starfleet's position, despite yeah. me being friends with Kinsey, I'm still thinking for the better of the group, I'm st because I would want to stay in town, I'm still kicking Kinsey, no matter how deep friends I am with him. Yeah, because but if you don't, if you the remove group, the importance of the Fortizar to you, and just have this demand from someone who is... If you're asking me that question, the culture and Volta, the Volta, the, if I was for some miraculous reason the leader of Volta, that culture wouldn't exist in the first oh, place. Oh, sure. Khan, Khan, apparently you rat in a C5 with Kinsey, is this true? No, he, no, well, long time ago, yeah, I did. I don't rat in Wormhole Space anymore. We so it's not true, but were you true. being racist in that Wait, wormhole? so no, no, was it more it's... or less than four years ago? Because four oh. years ago has kind of been the cutoff point for like, yeah. if it's four uh, years ago, we don't care. But if it's like three and oh, a I'm half years ago, can we, can we, can we not bad. have a discussion about how many years ago it's okay no, to have been? No, yeah, I'm just Matt, kidding. I'm playing. Okay. I'm just, I'm yeah. just joking. I'm joking. Matt's question was, you rat, as in current. I don't, but I used to. Yeah, I used to because I was involved. I think he was just calling you a rat. No, no, I know it's iBox. They 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 get they're going for reaction. It's fine. It it's part of the course. We're talking about them. Also, someone in Volta said, "I think this is Volta." Khan, don't fucking act like you never say something bad. Don't let us dig in. To be fair, I'm though, not, it's weird I... that you're all attacking Khan when he's like the only person in here, kind of willing to play devils. Mav, for you don't guys. do that. You know, Mav, no, they'll start calling you a white knight. They're gonna call I'm you a white knight. I did this I for Kinsey. Care. I did this I for don't Kinsey. Care. Like it's weird that you guys aren't coming, like willing to come in here and defend yourselves. It's it's fine. I would probably, even though I can't remember, probably have skeletons in my closet if I found them. Yeah, well, we all do. I'm I, sure. I probably will. I'm not justifying my skeletons in my closet. I have probably said something at some point in the years past that someone may find, and it will come up. And I yeah, will I told someone then apologize. The day, like then, then I will probably apologize. Then I will apologize for him. Like, well, that's not me now. Okay, because I'm in a group that doesn't... That oh, I just doesn't, got sent a screenshot. Okay? Um, Khan, I'm really sorry. I've got to do this to you, buddy. I've just been sent a screenshot of Khan on the 23rd of uh, the 4th, 2022. I'm going to do this guy's 500 MN. He hasn't lost it, but to be a F, it's fucking disgusting and it isn't ham. I was expecting to see cap staple Loki F homophobic slur word. Who roam around blue sob and no and only fly that shit so glad the Legion huh. claps the Loki. Oh, oh no. Saying that. Simple. Oh no. Did I'm, we I'm, 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 I'm cancelled oh, now. Is that all it takes? You just have to go, ah, oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm cancelled now. That's it. It's game over. Oh, yeah. you should get kicked from your guild then. I know. Hey, oh, Brazen I'll Husky, thanks soon. for the sub. Hey, you guys know you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime? Uh, uh, no one wants a sub to uh, shit stream. Why not, dude? It's been okay, great. So like, one, one, it's cringe that Volta won't come here and defend themselves. Uh -huh. And two, like, I think it's like... I don't know, maybe... It's a, it's a really tricky question. Like, if anyway, someone is I'm a piece Con. of shit... He shouldn't get kicked. Yeah, if someone it's is a piece also, of shit... They have someone from Goons here to defend them. Con Ray's gonna defend them. Now you sound... Do. Dawn hasn't said anything, luckily. She's been really quiet. Why is that lucky? We love Dawn. Dawn's no, great. We don't. She's, no, got we really don't. Annoying, Dawn. she's got really annoying loud cats that don't shut the fuck up. And um That's it's because it. they want love. Cats oh, love. Oh, can love. you drag Fetty so in? He's in uh, the Um public. I've been watching his nick ch nickname changes, waiting to <laughs> see one that uh, is appropriate for me to drag in. Um I also did have a request that everyone should have their nicknames be their game names so that people know. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah. Um, I but yeah, also, I was you were provided a screenshot recently. Can you send yeah. me the screenshot that you were provided? I'd like to see what you're talking oh, about. Jay, so, Jamie, put that up on the screen. I'm not going to put it up on the screen, it seems <laughs> like, but I, I'm just I'm going to see it. Gavin, Con, what's, Gavin, you say what's the these bet things? right now you're mining? If you it's say these in things? a mess, okay, hold on. If it's in a message on last Discord week? and it doesn't look edited, I probably wait. What last week? No, no, show me this. No, it wasn't. It wasn't edited. 
I will send it to you, Khan, because you yeah, can fail. Yeah, I probably did say it. Yeah, I probably, I probably did say it. Correct. Why? 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 What? Why are you on one I'm side saying, here, I'll, on I'll the other real. side, behind the here. scenes? I don't get it. I don't understand. There's why aren't Falter in here? What's was wrong? It what? Yeah, it, it is. First of all, it is in a DM. That that is a DM. Then who cares? Wait, wow. no. Is that yeah. wait? You hold know, on a second. Is that edited? Wait, Gavin, so if Gavin, I say slurs in DM, it's Shut okay. Up, Nev. Gavin, what group are you in? I'm in Rogue Capel. Oh, okay. Someone message wrote leadership right now. Quickly, so, quickly. Pro pro so just proxy, yeah. and proxy will will reply to you. Go, huh? What? What, what do you mean? Huh? You can you listen can to my like point, or you can just take it at what. Yeah. What's the so point? It, then? Yeah. My point is the way that people interact in public in groups that you know they invest time and stuff in. Like, I use the R word. I'm not going to say it on the stream. I'm, you know, just the. You mean the Yes, I'm, I say oh, that all the time. Do I say it all the time, but when I go on other people's comms, I don't say it. I don't say it in like public settings that like people expect me not to say it. It's called being polite and stuff. But on DMs and in like rope comms or that sort of shit, I say it all the time. Yeah, but what about that's a truly that word point. was like the F word or the N word or you know where do, where does the line stop? I don't think there needs to be an answer think... to that question, personally, because I don't want to know, mostly. I just, I just don't want to know. So... Well, I would I think... rather we just not try to sit here and, and draw is, these lines no like we're some sort of arbitrators and we get to decide. I mean, line. that's what, that's what, but that's what Big it's Ab really, has done. It's really... Well, yeah, so, I guess Big Ab can do that. If Big Ab decides and... they want to do that and they want to... You know, put themselves up to that task, and then you know that's on them. They can do that. And I don't want to do back, that. It goes back to the point point. that I just said. You can't. It's a slippery slope going on social justice. What else? Like, I mean, did someone point. say if, can if we talk I about were, something more important? Yeah. If I were like the, the combat demo of Chaucer's dual tank battle fires and how that went for them, I heard it went poorly. Yeah. Can you confirm? No, he wasn't there because he's useless and doesn't log in anymore. Wow, insane! I thought he was getting a kebab. Well, so yeah, what happened? Get... What what happened with the uh, the dual tank they tanks? Died. They all died, probably. Well, an armor tank mag would die. Tanks just suck. Yeah. Well, Nags there you go. So we talked about much. it. Back to the racism. So how do you? No, I'm just kidding. I don't really have much else to talk about, gang. I I mean, Why I do have a thing to say on the on the racism on. subject. Go for it. If if I were being solution oriented, and I was like, hey, what did we learn today, team? I think we learned that both groups are kind of guilty and they have their, their skeletons. It'd be really cool to see both of them Hang make on, a actually, statement there's, on there's it. Three, there's three groups now. Uh, Luke, Luke Frat has been cancelled. Uh oh. Okay, great. I'd like to see all three make a joint statement on what they oh, think it man, should be. Oh man, what is this? And if you don't, then you know where this is and it doesn't matter. I, I didn't want to, what about Frat? But... It's about a fort. Uh, what, what, where is Frat being cancelled now? I had to run look upstairs in the kitchen. Look in, look in Cesspool. Oh, if anyone were be running upstairs. There's a Frat person in local saying all hail the oh, and the geez. person. Okay, so look, here's, that, that here's the thing. That probably about to get kicked. The point that I was making is that it's it's not really up to us to police this, right? But it's up to them. Oh, wait, what, hang on, defi define us. Players, other players. But when players are leadership in groups and communities, are, you, what about them? Have you ever let someone finish a thought before you think of a response I, to it I'm, and say it out no. loud? I think that we no. should all collectively agree that Mav should police this. No. I'm no, the good thing about the community, community can about. police itself. Yeah, let's so hear like, it when Dal Mill have a guy who's smoking around his child, we went and killed all the structures because we think smoking around the child is bad. That True, person's just as ghosty. So the network lost all the structures because they let him talk in them. Yep. But that was that was his fault. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and smoke around children. He like he'd go on his stream like every day smoking in front of his kid or kid. I'm not sure, but like yeah. And uh, so we evicted an entire group because of it. How do we know that the CIA wasn't live editing in the the cigarette and the smoke into his stream? Oh Christ! That's a good Somebody question. That's a good point. Point on his stream. Yeah, technology these days. Yeah, it's amazing what you can get away with. 
I don't think he cared. I think he just wanted to clown a streamer, and he was He's cringe to begin with for that reason. If the CIA is spending any time focusing on people, it's probably Rudy, right? Volta have said good fight, Ooh. Kong. Stream, they, they That's right. Well, yeah, a good fight because they found the message of me using the F words two years ago. So it kind of invalidates what they think is my point where I'm saying that I'm a rosy person that have never said anything. I never said that. I literally said in the other one, if you go through my closet, you'll probably find skeletons. I'm not here saying I believe in Big Ab's message that we should have ref their fault because of what Kinsey said. I'm saying this is the reason. I also said I talked to Tim and I said it's a slippery reason because we all have said shit like that. But the reason won't change. The fort will still die. We lost. I'm going to say this again. We lost a Titan over it. I'm huffing my, I'm drinking my Kool-Aid, but the fort will still die. It was a good fight. That's what we were talking about. We're talking about the Turner fight. All right. How, how, how about this, right? Let's just say that this is actually the actual reason why they're, they're refing in the fort. And it's not like, all this like leadership issues in the background right let's just say that they're waving this public flag of this is why we're doing it because it's a lot simpler to explain to people on mass like we're going to do this because you guys are annoying because of this reason and it's not because of the communication breakdown in the background it's just like when goons said that they were going to war against renters it's the same exact thing. No, it's a thing. bit different. Like, renting is the thing an is, though, game action that right, doesn't that's, offend people. That's what I'm saying. Like, being racist fuck, is like... Mav, I swear to God. If you don't <laughs> shut the fuck up once in a while, just once, <laughs> once in 20 minutes, be quiet and let yeah, someone yeah, else just speak. Just meet him, yeah, I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. Fuck. It was such a good point, and you stole it, it about from renting. me. Hmm? Oh yes, Smart it's about here. renting. So it's cringe to make something out of game like this your cause of war, is what I'm gonna say. Why is it though? But it that's just the thing. is. Why? But that's the it's only not... thing that can be but a cause of war that, these days. Like, yeah, it... that drives conflict in Eve, and it drives it to a much more interesting scale. Ugh, I don't. Sad scale. I don't mind that it's the Casas belly. I think it's cringe to attempt to, I guess, shame anyone who is possibly against you for that same reason. It's like canceling someone in a video game when your uh, skeleton is so full of closets, every single person, even if they're fine, like one-on-one -on -one or something like that. Like, Khan, Why do you just have things in your hand. skeleton? Uh, skeletons in your closet, whatever, man. I think, uh, it's, I, think, I think it's cringe to be... To, it's like to, absurd at that point, to, I think, to try to like, say anyone fighting against you is on the side I, I of I think racism. it's cringe to try and avoid um, major combat in EVE Online by saying that the method of uh, one of your structures being reinforced is dishonorable in some we way. We got told that, though, when we reffed a bunch of structures on Christmas Day. We were told that it was... Uh, by Big Ab as well, actually. We were told it was... Uh, Roach-like behavior. If we're good to go on to a different subject, I'd like to kind of talk about that kind of behavior. Wait, so you're getting yeah, You're Let's being go go for it. dehumanizing her. Roaches. Wait one second before we segue. Gavin, because you're in, um, right? Is there no, any? No, we're like... segueing. Hang on, hang on. It'll take ten seconds. Does Roach have any like thoughts on this kind of conflict happening in Turner? I'm pretty sure um, they're neutral. Technically, we're neutral, but it's just it's just a pain in the ass. We, they we, have, op we they operate have with sisters, Volta, sorry. and we operate with Big Air, but we're not in a fucking coalition. It's an agreement not to fuck with each other in, inside the system. We're sure, not I tried, friends. I tried to explain this, Gavin. No one's buying that. Don't, I don't, don't know, dude. Right. I don't know. Don't try that. There's 10 I'd seconds. Mates, There's 10 no, seconds. Sure. I'd courtmates get DM'd by members of Roach shaming them for assisting Volta in the fight because it's being on the side of racism. I'm not totally convinced that Roach is neutral in the dude, conflict. Roach has dual citizens, just like Volta has dual citizens. With I was just about to say, that dude, like... That thing has never come on comms with us. He just happens okay, so, to be a dual citizen. So he's basically big AB with road ticker. And if you ignore the fact that my apostle was on grid, I wasn't there either. Uh, excuse me? What? Apostles don't actually hurt people, Mav, okay? They just save lives. I'm like that guy Wait, in that... Who were you helping, though? Whose lives were you focused on saving? Uh, whoever's broadcast, we were, you know... We're going it, out. It, it was All right, it's definitely been more than ten seconds. I wanted to hear Phantomite's <laughs> point. a valid here. point. I wanted to hear Phantomite. 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 What? So, what's your point today? So, about a year and a half ago, I joined Faction Warfare, and I started out by joining a large Kaldari group. Um, 
since I've been part of Caldari, been part of Galente um, for a long time on both sides. And something that I've noticed there is something that I think I call, and I think some others will understand what this means, is the tendency to have absolutely seemingly endless yes and circular conversations where everybody adds their own made up thing onto something. I've got a, a sort of, I, I can make up an example to try and explain that. Oh, really let's imagine, let's imagine that me and my guys, we blob somebody in the enemy. Let's, we, they've got a Kestrel. I've got four comets. We go and blob this enemy Kestrel. Okay, cool. We blobbed him. Um, he'll go back to his group and, and he'll, and they'll be like, ah, oh, typical enemy side always blobbing and then somebody's like yes and do you know what i'm fairly sure that um they um invented and released the aids virus and then somebody's like yes and do you know what i think they started um world war ii i can i can find all this here and this goes round and round and round and i've seen this insane level of hate and essentially conspiracy building notably within faction warfare and i've been in several a number of areas of of eve online in like 17 years and i haven't seen the, the craziness hatred built upon people desperate to figure out a way to like have a competition with each other to figure out who can hate the other side more over things they've made up is that why you turned the boss shield off in Shadow Cartel, Phantom? I released the virus. <laughs> I, do you know what? I, now that I almost said, without remembering where it's from, I almost said I was just following orders as a reply to that. That would have been awful. Well, does anyone have a response yeah, to Yeah, so why was point? this like, actually going? I'm... Like what? I mean, we've got you, you. You guys are having this massive circular conversation where different sides that hate each other are all trying to focus on which side is more racist um, or uses the most right. slurs. And you and know, why does it matter? What I'm, <laughs> right? Why do what is matter? that the point? Oh, I'm not saying it doesn't matter. But what I'm saying what is, point. I feel like the, the 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 core driving principle that some of you guys, or at least some of the guys on Reddit have, is not that they're looking to make the world better and clear out some nasty people. I think they just want to have a go at the other side, and that's really the wrong way to approach that kind of thing. Oh, it's not the wrong way to approach it. Wait, did, well, did anyone so not that's... understand that that was always going on? Yeah, I didn't have a fucking clue what he's on about. No, I got you. <laughs> I understand. Hold on, let's so Phantomite, Phantomite is saying that it's being used as a reason to do something, and okay, that well, it's everything not, always yeah. there's always stuff that's been used as a reason to justify something. Like I, I was think saying, renting, people need, I, th I think, the war I think renting, people who are demonstrating to be racist need to be cleared out of Bill, people's groups. But I, but it doesn't feel like that's the dr the main driving force behind a lot of the arguing about it. No, Isn't that what it, virtue signaling is? It's, is it's out cancelling. Yeah. You're trying to out cancel each other. It's cringe. Why was it being in an alliance with Torvald for several months, Phantom? Ugh. Uh, I don't, and see, this is the same shit, <laughs> right? Is that Tim gets a pass because it was four years ago, okay, but so not a Red's, well, no, no, not no, no, a Red's no, gonna on. bring this I'm, stuff up until we, the day that he dies, no, one, no matter no how long Tim, ago it was that Torvald no, made Red, questionable tweets on the internet. No there's a giving, difference. There's no a one. difference between having skeletons in the closet and then trying to improve yourself as a person after the fact, and then saying racist shit. And slurs and not doing anything about it. No one's giving me the pass. No one's giving me the pass either. Like everyone someone has just, someone just dug up what I just said and I just addressed it. We dug everyone up. Everyone has skeletons said. in the closet. Everyone has skeletons in the closet, except for me. But everyone has skeletons oh, okay. in the closet. It's about what you do <laughs> after. I mean, I I don't oh. think um, you know, I'll say this. I've known I've known SFC for a good while. I don't think SOC has anyone else's interest but Volta and taking care of that group. And I think SOC isn't a dick. He's matter of fact. He's very truthful. And he's going to do mm. what's right. And I think Tim will too. I fucking love Tim. I, I think the both of these, these dudes have the, the potential of resolving this in a way that actually works great and feels I mean, right. And actually takes the terror of it. It will be resolved with the Voltful dying because it will die. That's how this will be resolved. Vote will be out of turn. 
while wow. drinking NPC the cool station. Station. The station is right there, bro. Yeah, well, no, and I don't know whether you'll leave an NPC station or not, but the, I didn't say, okay, no, I'll correct myself. Volta won't be out of Turner, maybe, but the vol the fort will die. And Volta won't be in Turner locals. And, they so won't be no agreement. and I don't think a fort a Volta makes. I think they just lost a whole lot of shit up north, and they're they're on to do, do other content. I think they're going to go forward and do shit, too. I think Big Gap would do the same thing. when they lost the north Have and you... went to Turner. <laughs> Have you seen any of the like the last half of the wars BRs and how many Voltor were actually in those fights? You can't blame members for not being interested in something that they didn't inherently yeah, choose to do. Because they're all chilling out in Turner. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're, yeah, I would chill out in Turner well. too. It's just not my. Where game will they play. go now after they get evicted yeah. from Turner? Not they won't. I don't think. Okay, no. What do you mean um, go? Just going to go AFK. Someone brought up a good point. There are NPC stations. I'm pretty yeah. sure they'll just... Let, let me put it this way. Good Volta members are trash, and they're going to go find somewhere else to go. I mean, they're going to go chill. They're going to go find a place. That's an internal it's thing. If you're Mav, a Volta oh, member, you know. You're trash. Mav, put you're a fort down place. from in Rakapas. Put a fort down from in Rakapas. Um, just do it. How much? I, I don't know. They paid you 60 bill already, right? According to you. So how much of what is ours? Yeah, did but you, that would you, mean like, I have stars? to listen to SFC every day and... Sid brings up a good point. They went, they've lived in Thera for years. I'm not saying yeah, you yeah. can't live in NPC. And, and also, I mean, look at the growth afterwards. It's very telling that Volta wasn't having fun. You're looking at what, 185, 190 Volta on a battle yeah. report. I, everyone in my corp was like, where the fuck was that during the war? But everyone they knew where that was. Not, they were having oh, their love. fun. They were enjoying something else. My corp went and did the seed because, like, literally, like, fuck like, that shit. Ray and a lot and of that I'm also like, was Cap F. Mold, like going into Volta and Capf has an extensive capital wing. The Volta is not anymore. If, if you asked anyone in Volta, is Capf a member of Volta? Or is uh, you know, uh, the the French guys? Uh, sorry, they're good duty. A member of Volta, they're going to say yeah. The same as Cholo yeah, is a member of Volta. They before, are you know, Volta. they're a part of Volta. They're they. A lot of those people who were kicked out of the out of B two just wanted to live in Declan. Let, let, let's be clear. Like a lot of those people really did just want to chill. Why are we talking it about snowball? It? Yeah, because it, it is intrinsically valued to what you're talking about with Volta. Like, is Volta good to grow by going to Turner? Yeah. And does that group have a history of being led relatively well, despite people's opinions? And are they going to come out of this and hopefully and have a good stance on it and take it as it is? Well, I think they will. Said that they don't have the good stance on it because they're not going to kick the racist. I mean, have they been led particularly well in the last few years when they've essentially just been content leeches to skill yourself, rush and fund their squad, goons, and like Israel? Mm. Like, my understanding mm. of people that have been in Volta is a lot of them just like complained about the absolute fucking shit show caught with this right they've had since leaving Farah. And they left Farah after rush and fund their squad left, who, from my understanding, just got all the content. Like, Star I mean, a lot more like concerned about RMTing and shit. I, I and think that's then, a really like, strange take. Also, and shit. Also, I, just I, again, I, as a, I'm, I'm going to be like, I'm going down with this one. Khan and I are both ex Volta members. The stuff about RMT, the stuff about, like, there were so many times, hey, team, I don't know how the fuck we're going to pay for this during this war. There were so many RMT. times, hey, team, I really don't see us moving forward in this way. And we find a way. But also, as a past Volta member, we left because we, we had different opinions. But I didn't experience a lot of the stuff that, like, we are experiencing. Do I agree with every comment Con or sorry, Con um Kinsey ever made? No, like at all. You know, and a lot of my members don't feel that way. But that's Kinsey does not a Volta make and a Volta is they're gonna move on. I believe that they will do it. But also, like Big Gap is gonna do the same shit. Like Tim's got some history that has been cited and Tim's willing to take it on on the nose and do it. Like, I think that would be the biggest outtake for all of this, is that both the groups look internally and go, what the fuck can I resolve? I don't know what that is for them. I mean, it was four years ago. Has he done it recently? No. Because well, I know there's not like there's not like a line in, in on the calendar. It's like, if you go past this line, it's bad. If you go past this line, it's like, oh, he's fine. You know, it's it was, it was, it was old Tim. Because you know? there's some things you can't come back from, like Astarothy. But there Oof. are things you can come back from, which is saying the F word or the M word I, in a DM four years ago. I, I think remember a now difference. why we steer clear of these topics so often. Because of this conundrum it's, at the it's end. So incredibly like, it's so incredibly It turns into a circle. It's convoluted. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I just, 
Uh, we can we can okay we look we can finish we can finish off the tone of fight. We I want to talk. Up. I want to talk about the, about the spy the ship invasion of privacy, the null sec invasion. Yeah. Oh, we on this now. It's yeah, like the I want to talk about this IP a, farming. I want to talk about that kind of shit. I find it somewhat confusing that the groups that will invade your privacy the most are also going to be the ones most spy ridden and the most obsessed with not having spies when. Like their entire construction up, means uh, that they I think will what have you're them. saying there is just large. If we're yeah. gonna segue, you should bring up the thread, I guess. And no, 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 it's fine. It. Let's segue first, and then we'll bring up the thread if it comes up. Oh, you're so because bad. Because we at already this. we already know what we're talking about, right? We're we're talking about how all these groups, these big null set groups, they ask for everything from but you. It's like a lot of not concept. just the big null set groups. Yeah, there's also Who some weird. Yeah, do we? Um, I, I well, everyone that, just... that runs services. Can Wait, can we're take it out. Let's, Let's go. Quickly. Can I jump in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump in. Jump in. Spy into I us, think, so I... they recruited IRL, like someone who had no history in Eve, to come play with us, or at least that was the case according to him. And so... I'm going to jump in on one thing, Mav. You know how some of this works. I highly yeah. suggest, unless you want a two-hour-long conversation, you do a specific show on this subject because it is not as clear-cut as Reddit. We can do it pretty yeah. quickly, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable. I, I, I'll play yeah. both sides and just yeah. You play both worked so sides. well. When other people have done it, yeah, that's that's uh, it's I, I gone know, great so be, far. It'll be fine. Like I, I like because oh no, I'm very publicly involved in like the spy anti spy meta and, and yeah. So work what kind IT. of information do you have about people, players, and Eve? What, me personally. Yeah, you personally, you have done like tech stuff for a lot of people, a lot of groups. I, 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 sure, I can talk about when I ran uh, Coalition IT for. Yeah, do that. Uh, what kind actually. of information do you guys actually get a hold of, and what can so, you do with it? So it depends a lot on uh, what you build out, and kind of. You, also, you have like a BR up on the stream. It's really off-putting. Usually okay, what else should I put on the screen? I'm gonna know, put like, a I hacker red man red image. Red Can we have a bit of a clarification red. first. There's there, there's a clear separation between um, and how much of it is you know invasive or not. There's a clear separation between what ESI will provide you with when yeah. you've asked for it and extracurricular information like IP yeah. addresses and I'll further. Yeah. yeah. So depending on what you do, um, you know, you apply to a group. You'll be told to authenticate all of your characters. You'll probably be sent to our website to do that. And so, depending on kind of how that website's configured, uh, it can do a lot of things. Uh, first, you know, Jesus fucking Christ. You can uh, find an unwatermarked image, right? Like. No, that's even funnier. Uh, so they'll they'll What's kind that? of get your IP address. That's a good um, from that. They'll know what browser you're using, and there's there's a lot more intrusive stuff you can do when you've kind of got code execution in someone's browser. They're gonna know um, I'm using Firefox. They will, yeah. How oh. much how, how much code execution are we talking? Uh, I mean, it depends. Fairly but... minimal stuff that's reported. It's pretty, yeah. Weekend. It's pretty. Yeah, it's like code execution, execution is a pretty spooky word to use, but yeah, like, that's it, why it, I'm questioning it. It's a it's a sandbox that they can run some stuff in, and so they can like, like what? they can choose they can choose to uh, like look at what fonts you might have, or what Chrome or Firefox extensions you have installed. Oh, like a form or... of fingerprinting in a way. Yeah. Yes. So they they can choose to fingerprint you if they want to. Um, some groups have been known to do this, some don't. Um, so, oh, RIP someone's hell. Um, so you would go onto one of these websites, you would log in with your Eve account, probably, and that will request some scopes. Uh, and so you can see exactly what they're requesting. Uh, so typically it's stuff like your, um... All the all the uh, Nosex spy people are gonna really hate me for outlining this stuff, but uh, yeah, it's stuff like um, your contacts, your transactions, your Eve mails. Um... Well, that's all ESI stuff. Like that's known. It, it appears yeah. in the scope list, right? Yeah. When someone presses. Accept, Should we skip like... beyond what ESI can provide? Because comparatively, that's like boring, and we know. Yeah, you can also let's look it up. Let's talk about the information that can harm the fish. What kind of information can you harvest? That could actually harm uh, someone. 
the generally what most people are trying well, to well, do. Can we define harm first? That's really important. Yeah, right? that's right, a good talking one. about cybersecurity yeah. and data, that's a really important definition. I mean, if um, you want to take it to the extreme, if you use someone's IP address, you could uh, locate someone's exact location, no, although you, you would No, you, you can. Oh. You can. I, I, I'm I, in this I, line of work. So I am I. in this so line of work. So am I, if, if, um, you're talking shit, Casey. Shut I've literally done back. it before. Actually, I've done it before. Roll back. Roll back. Oh, roll shit. back. Okay. Roll back. I mean, I mean, I'm going to give you an example, right? When I visit this, certain places is... on my phone, I live in the Midlands in the UK, yeah, and, it and very often, and very phone often, phone. it gives my location as London, so it's yeah. not so let's, always let's that roll back. accurate. Let's call it yeah. yeah. in, right. in certain oh, country, in certain countries, with certain internet service providers, it may be theoretically possible to identify a location based on its IP address. That is not guaranteed because as as Phantom White said, right, his IP address exit in London, mine exits in Edinburgh, and I guarantee that's without VPN. It is highly specific. So Casey is yeah. not one hundred percent incorrect you'll have, in the but it's you'll not have a to forgive me either. for this, but it, it doesn't none of that matters. It, it's fine. The info I wanna know what information you can get that would be harmful. Yeah, so not what okay. an IP address does and how it works. I well, know that, Casey that's tried kind to sidetrack. Kind of what makes things interesting, right? Is and with an I, an IP address can be used mm -hmm. in multiple different ways, and so you you can use it. You can collect the IP addresses to see are they using a VPN or a proxy. You know that might be a genuine question to ask in your group, or you could use it as uh, for correlation. Say you want fuck off, Nada. Say you want to know um, if like someone goes on holiday and. Their, v their IP address changes and stuff like that. You could like ask those questions, right, using an IP address. But you know, you can also do things which are a bit more intrusive. Like if, for example, you run um, some services off your home computer, or uh, you know that you happen to have exposed, then that's uh, you know, like someone could choose to try and probe and attack those services. And you can, like Casey, has kind of alluded to by talking out of his ass. You can combine an IP address with different data sets to work out where... Um... Sorry, I just got poked on too sick. You can use uh, an IP address along with other data sets to reason about where someone lives. Um, it's often very inaccurate. Um, occasionally, it can be very accurate. Um... But yeah, I go add it's not also, just the IP address. I'll, I'll give and you an also example. You can, uh, you can, you know, like there are. Uh, let me find the post. There are like the yeah the public the data sets that are like becoming public are spookier and spookier, um, and like there's you know like it's similar to like phone numbers and stuff and email addresses and stuff. Like you can kind of go between uh, these pieces of data to like other pieces of data and get more and more about people um but is there the, the any is, is there any amount of information that could be gained from signing up for eve online services that yeah. could actually be used to to harm me like to if, hack if my they, hack my well, computer uh, well if I, I might steal someone, my files if, so here's a good any example of that kind of stuff let me give you an example of someone shut up, shut okay up, if someone decides that you are a target and they decide mm -hmm. to invest the time and the energy into you, then potentially, yes. It's basically mm -hmm. like what knowing okay. the address of someone's house so is. Like, on a certain point, if someone um, break into your house, they can do that if they want to. Let, I let want me to, give you I, an example. I want, to, no, I want, I want to point side. something out first. I want to point something out first. Uh, it's something that's difficult is that there are a very large number of people collecting this information in EVE Online, and every single one of them is going to say, but I'm not going to use that information to try and find anything creepy out. And I would bet that I would bet that a huge number of them aren't going to do that, but it's the storage of this information essentially to unregulated entities because they're not a corporation or a yeah. fully registered organization and things like that means that there can be no guarantee that the information that they are collecting isn't going to find its way into the wrong hands or that they change well, their yeah. mind later. Those guarantees okay. also haven't in the past actually protected people, but like you're, yeah, you're meant to. Like in the UK, if you collect certain information, you're meant to register with the Information Commissioner's Office and stuff like that. Um, 
Yeah, that's not Alliance happening Wolf. with EVE Online Corporation. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Alliance Wolf is one of the um, tools that a lot of alliances use. And unfortunately, out of the box, it's configured to collect an email address. Um, so that would associate... You, you People would get basically your email address, your EVE Online characters that you auth, and your IP address. Uh, which is like a fair amount of data to have some, on someone. Uh, an example... I was told to shut up earlier. So I'll give an example of something that would maliciously hurt someone. Uh, my group is really well known for being a good community for um, trans uh, members of the LGBTQ community and anyone who is a sex worker. We've had a lot of them. Um, if that information, this is where you get in a lot of issues, at least on our end for IT, is if anyone has ever sent something, and you might argue this is, is dumb and not smart, set something in EVE mail um, that could be used to trace things to exterior then game information or um, their email as mentioned and um, the phone numbers that kind of thing um, we've traced uh, incidentally we've had whole only fans accounts linked and we're like hey you probably want to delete that mail and watch where your tokens are um, there's a lot of examples of people making their own whole by sharing some information in EVE and then what Phantom might just said is really the problem. It gathers a wealth of information that a lot of people in theory can see, and it's now based on the trust of your IT director. Yeah. And uh, in the our, motiv our the instance, motivation. and the motivation's what matters. And, and so our motivation was protection. So we made a separate channel. We said, hey, we are not disclosing anything, but you, you should hide this, you know, and we'll make sure it's hidden on our end. It is only me and an IT director who have access to our back end. And that person was super grateful, grateful for that. It's like that, that is something that doesn't always happen. What we, we got like, you, you got to look at what's at stake for some groups, though. The, the stakes for not even super large, but just large groups, the stakes are incredibly high, it, possibly even just in the mind. And when the stakes get incredibly high, especially for large power blocks, then it means that people are going to think slowly more and more differently about how respectful they are about that data. I can... mm -hmm. And that would be a lot less of an issue if they nerfed down subplexes. Oh also, someone said, what is it, what, um, you know, why, why would someone send that stuff over email? I don't know. You'd have to it ask happens. literally any human. It happens. It is so common. And it is, it's the same reason you're told, hey, don't share your email address and blah, 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 blah. That is why right there. It's the same thing. It's just now filtered into a game which inherently so, is now policed by someone that isn't policed. Two things. Uh, one, Luke, you're kind of right about the uh, the email stuff. I'm it's, being a bit it's, abstract, it's, right? Because I'm trying to yeah, type it quickly. It's not, for, it's not for Discord. It's for other services. It's some technical debt, and I believe they're going to fix it over time. Uh, C also collects email addresses. Um, I know so, Discourse uses an email address to set up on Discord yeah. as well. But, I, e yeah, email well. addresses at least get roundable by the fact that you can just make a fresh or a temporary email address for the Right, which is what I do for my Eve Discord, for example. Yeah, well, yeah. Lot, the problem is a lot of people don't do this. I know, I know. And Something so... I've I've not appreciated about Alliance Auth is that it always in in the instances that I've used it, it's always asked for an email address. That every single time the people running and it have said, fine. Yeah, I don't actually need well, it, so just bash anything into there. But yeah. it's not clear that it's not needed to be done. <laughs> yeah. Um it it depends on how you're using AOF. But yeah, I hopefully they'll they'll fix that. But when um I can talk a bit about like the kind of uh period where I was running uh Fires IT and me and Ed Darian, who we were uh, running it together, kind of looked at what other groups had done in the past and kind of used our combined knowledge to think about like what we could do if we decided to like go full kind of like not I'm not sure what the word is, but like if we really wanted to like find full spies, CIA, yeah, if we were to like go full CIA and like it's genuinely pretty spooky what you can do with enough time and like. Autism. And with enough data points as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and enough willingness to physically break certain laws. Let's be yeah. clear, right? There are external national laws that govern some of this as well. It right? gets but very those, those laws are practically of... not enforceable by the authorities to a group of 700 nerds on the internet. Yeah, depending on what you're doing, yes. Yeah, you're... It, get, it gets pretty complicated. Because... Sorry, the twist. Yeah. Because of that, like, 
the fact that like the internet is global and you know all the jurisdictions and stuff but yeah the yeah, I want to say that that thing made... I said about stakes, that thing about the stakes being so high and there's 30,000 other people in your group, then, you know, when you, if the option is available to the leadership to go invasive to do better at spy catching, then the stakes are so high that chances are they're going to do uh, it. The thing is, though, like, you shouldn't have to. Like, you're going to have spies anyway. Like, your group doesn't is stop people. Big. It's not going to stop yeah, them. I, I, I know, the stakes are high enough, and the game endlessly rewards asshole behavior. <laughs> yeah. Well, so does real life. So, I mean, why wouldn't the game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. One it should thing hardly be a surprise. Is, uh, when, we, when we ran Fires IT, we actually went out of our way not to collect. Um, like personal information we like specifically set up off so we didn't collect email addresses and like we um pruned the logs pretty often and also like the ip addresses to us just weren't useful like we we don't care where like two thousand people live or you know that kind of thing and we had no interest in like targeting that's, people that's but great it's, but it's entirely trust-based trust yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly. i mean you know I, I i have no problem you know accepting that that's true but it, it, it that there's, there's nothing yeah to, to guarantee that and yeah. what happened afterwards you know what do you with, mean said, with the with any leftover data oh yeah exactly yeah yeah it's, it's a tricky one um yeah i mean like nada was trying to bait me into saying if groups were smaller the problem would start to shrink it wouldn't go away the problem is EVE groups have as much IT infrastructure as real corporations. That's also but with not none true. of the oversight. <laughs> with none of the oversight. It's not quite that level. There is a lot of... We've got more infrastructure than bad corporations. We've got more yeah. infrastructure than a one-man company that just has a Wix website, right? Like, <laughs> there's a corporation, probably, like a proper corporation, probably yeah. not, right? Yeah. What's wrong with the Wix website? Yes. I'm not saying anything is wrong with the Wix What's website. I'm just saying it's website? very the minimus IT infrastructure, right? Most yeah, true. of you knew psychological warfare with the information you gather to cause distress to the individual or group. Some of you are assholes and some of you have used that information to cause psychological harm. Can you elaborate there? He's talking like, about Digi. Oh, yeah. That, that's fair. I, I mean... I, I yeah, I mean that's fair. We have it. We we have examples of where yeah. people with access to this have used it, not just for bad things, but for horrible things, and yeah. that hasn't slowed down over the years. It keeps on happening. I mean, I always like to call back to the backpack scenario. Yeah, that, was that happened. Yeah. Are you talking about Marlon in the sky? There's no way that was real. Man never posted a receipt. On the backpack. Well, thing. I mean, this there was a Everyone's situation a quite recently on the backpack. that people had a big stink over with Rudy, the spy situation, like a couple weeks ago. Harvesting IPs apparently was what he was doing. Yeah. So what? What was this? He was using like IP weird. grabbers. It's essentially useless and just bizarre. It's like an explicit um, trick on your members for something that's functionally useless. Right. I don't think it's functionally useless. I mean, it's clearly a spy hunting thing, given where it was being posted, and then just making some comparisons. Okay. So what was it for? Were they, they were trying to test to see if the IPs matched between the link and what? I don't... And not the IP of the link. They wanted people to click on it, and then when you click on it, your IP is sent to they, the guy. Actually, they, they didn't want anyone to click on it. I, I know how it worked, but I'm, I'm not going to go into two hours of how this works. In this They're part. functionally just testing for a relay by creating two different ping channels and attempting to record like the account that's relaying in that manner. E effectively, yes. I see. But it's worth it's noting... Still, it's still IP address harvesting rather no, than in-game no, information. It, it, it is, is this to yeah, harvest the IP... Not... It's is the end goal to harvest the, the IP to then use to find the Without... in counter intelligence? Yes. Not... No. Hang on, no, hang on. So, like, you kind of can't, point. you kind of can't discuss this without burning the trick. Uh, That's why basic. I'm, oh, I, I'm gonna do it for you instead. Oh, there you go. Uh, so that there is a trick where you can uh, detect if a channel is relayed. Um, 
Rudy was one of the first people to start doing this, and he was using the uh, the IP grabber links to do this. Um, he didn't need to do this. Uh, he did it for a lot longer. Uh, yeah, he did it for a lot longer than he needed to. Um, you know, he's kind of shit at his job though. Well, um, and you can kind of see if you scroll down a bit, he changed to using um, uh, a pings that went to coalition link, and you know, some people saw these uh, these posts in the uh, fraternity Discord and other places and thought they looked a bit suspicious. Um, was it for the purpose of finding out which IP addresses were visiting the ping? So it actually wasn't. Um, no. But th there is some dunk tech where, you know, you can kind of see... Yeah, you can detect a relay, basically. Um, Does it provide him with the IP address of the people? So the there link? is... It, it is not meant to. The trick, it, the trick doesn't rely on you clicking it. It's not about people clicking it. The, these are uh, in these screenshots. Like uh, we're not really sure where these leaks came from, but this is our relay. Um, the these are actually embeds, and so they're actually pictures. Yeah, like they're a like, like a hidden pictures. pixel in a in a marketing email that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, is the purpose of that to see which IP address has pulled that image no, through the end? No, because embed? of the way Discord works, you're not, you don't, you're not visiting that. The only way that you would expose your IP address is, you know, when you click a Discord uh, image and you click a uh, open in browser. Yeah. That's yeah. when you would. Leave it's your only the Gramify list. Is, 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 yeah. Are you saying that Discord is essentially, in some ways, you could say it's acting like a proxy for that image? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's Discord's IP that shows to the guy. That yeah. is, in fact, literally what it's doing, as I understand. Unless, unless, unless they click play. on it. it like, yeah. It's a yes no question. Is this being relayed? And then what you're meant to do is um, segment down your member base, so to speak, to narrow yeah. to yeah. Narrow who the is going doing to be. it because you have it. And the Grabify link, I assume, it was either some secondary attempt at having the person expose themselves to make it easier and grabbing their IP in that yeah. manner, or is just the Grabify lazy? link designed for people to click on it so that he can then see their IP address? I don't know. No, You'd have to ask him what he's doing with it. No, I don't that think would that's be... the point. It's, not, it's being sloppy to detect the Discord IP address. And Phantomite, not... I have a feeling that the answer is yes, but we're going to avoid saying it. I mean, I know that the answer is yes, because that's what Grabify is for. <laughs> So I, I, it's not, it's I not can, embedding a picture, it's providing a link. As, uh, as much as, you know, I think Rudy is a piece of shit, I, I will in this instance say that the the intention of this probably wasn't to harvest people's IP addresses. And but was it, it was, doing that? It could have been if people were clicking the link or the picture, uh, clicking open, yes. But It's a Grabify the, the link in these screenshots rather than a picture. Uh, it, that's because of where it came from. They it's are a, actually yeah. pictures. Yeah. They are the, actually. These okay. screenshots were stolen from a relay. Uh, that Which relay is purposely is, removing the. Yeah. That, yeah, that's actually that's a really important piece of context. The relay, the relay is relay that these are coming from are converting, essentially, yeah, so that you don't converting the picture to a, a string yourself. rather than a picture. Yeah. 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 So why so was Grabify were... being used? Well, Grabify. That, I kind of spoke about that earlier. That was uh, you don't have to use Grabify. Like you can see later on, he uh, starts posting those pings that went to coalition. Yeah, the, the reality is you could put like an image of a fish up on a web server that you control. Put the, the image of a fish, and you'll get the IP address in the access logs of the web server. Right? Grabify is sloppy, but it's not doing anything different. Yeah. So why was they using Grabify? Laziness. I That's laziness imagine. at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So. What is the only thing that Grabify does? Yeah, but we've, we've already said that bit. But it's it's grabbing the Discord proxy IP address by it being embedded in a link. What you're trying to get to is it's not grabbing the user's IP address. There's a very subtle distinction. And to okay. be fair, there is a big That's the bit I'm trying to be post. To be fair, there's a subtle distinction there. Rudy, Rudy runs Frat's IT. I think if he wanted people's IP addresses and Frat... He could just look at their service. So given that Grabify is only returning account. Discord's IP address, why was it being used at all? Uh, I could explain that, but effectively... In the hope that someone will click the link? No, 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 no. Discord does not have one IP address. It has a, 
about a slash 34, so it probably has hundred, it has thousands of IP addresses. Yes. So if a relay relayed an image from an IP address that then relayed it to another relay, it would automatically come from the same IP address and the okay, same. So link. this is for tracking relays, not the people using Correct. it. Correct. And I know Matt's kind of been dancing around it. I'm down to it. I, I can now. accept that. Okay. It's not as I can understand how you could look and go, oh, it's grabbing IP addresses. And while it conceptually is, it's not from what people were concerned about, right? Although I will say one thing, Matt, to your guy, the Reddit thread makes it super sloppy because it doesn't define that it took an image and then converted it to a URL, which makes yeah. it look more bizarre. Yeah. That is true. Well. I would have done it differently if I was the one outing, really. Yeah, what is he being didn't... outed for here? Because I'm not sure I'm following like Single weirdo. The IP it, it looks like he's harvesting IPs, so that's essentially what they're okay. being called out for. But it sparked a wider conversation of, like, are, is spying and counterintelligence, like, weird? Any of I did really enjoy I mean, yeah. the, <laughs> yeah, the and it is. warfare approach to this. Uh, which was like, yeah, we know we have relays, we don't care. And faction warfare will like openly fight with people on their comms, like relaying on both sides. Like they don't really give a fuck. It's kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, it's because their game isn't just like form up more numbers than the other fucking subhuman orcs got. It's about actually like fighting and playing the game. Yeah. Like no one's saying blue canary oh, shitter is like in his like fucking condor. Isn't really it's like really stupid you. that the mega like orc blobs are even the ones that care this much about spies to begin with. It's like they have them. They're not going away ever. What a definitive, definitive, definitive point, Jordy. A, a very interesting show. We talked about racism. We talked about privacy. Beautiful time. Beautiful time. Yeah. I've had fun. But it's we talked about Anthemite's big news. Authorized apps can read I've your been... DMs. They can't do that. I've been, it's been stuck almost on three hours for New Eden Post for the last like freaking twenty minutes. Just Thank add you up so much. Add up Thank you so much for watching the ads. I appreciate I... it. I just tapped out. I'm not watching them, bro. You should I just spam click I... them so that he doesn't get any money. That's toxic. Why don't why don't I deserve money, Mav? I don't understand. Because you can't do a proper intro according to Mav. Yeah. Mm. Because we don't so, have fucking player cards, man. That's why. Mav doesn't know. That's Look. So listen, the point of the spies to stop spying out. It's not gonna happen. The goal was to do a camera stream, but I wasn't ready for that yet, so Show Are we really gonna do a camera stream? stream in like the year where like racism and like yes. invasion? I think we have to. I think we have to. I think we can't be anonymous. We can't hide behind our player portraits if we're gonna have if we're gonna talk about things like that. We have to be who we are. That's just all there is to it. It sounds a bit racist, man. Man, it could it could be a, a little bit, but it's not. I promise. But I don't have anything else to talk about. It's been almost three hours. I say we raid this random streamer and call it we a need day. To talk Phantomite's big news. Yeah. What's your big news, Phantomite? I've switched sides in the militia. All right, on to the end of the show again. <laughs> Oh yeah, economy and more. Now we're skipping economy. Definitely skipping economy. Well, no, it's actually kind of interesting. He's joining it's a not... group that is oh, like, I thought it it is. About the economy. <laughs> no, not, I don't fucking care about the economy. <laughs> Fuck the economy. What do you mean, uh, man? Kind of you, you like to show, that, you like to show um, us your uh, trading alt all the time. Hey guys, look how much money I made in my trading alt. Oh, shut up, Khan. Um, <laughs> He's like kind of leaving a, a more dominant group and going to a, a, a dog shit group, and he'll probably get more fights because of that. It's kind of cool. wow, fun. I mean, if anybody proclaims to love PvP and joins the overwhelmingly winning side, then I don't think they actually love PvP. Me neither. What is your Would take you... on uh, Well, no, no, I like PvP. I just like my PvP with my 100 friends versus the 20, okay? You just don't get it. 100 closest friends, yeah. You, you just, just don't, don't get, get it. it. <laughs> you just don't understand. You don't. Well, we are actually going to go ahead and raid Badman Larry. Um, Badman Larry? He's not brave, is he? 
I don't know. He's got a he's got a beard. He looks like yeah, a cool dude. Like We're gonna go yeah, say hello. Know. Um, we'll Wait, stream why again. Why are you raiding stations? Uh, why would I raid? Never mind. Uh, we're raiding Badman Larry. That's that's who we're gonna raid. Oh, he's mine. No, 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 don't raid this guy. He's mining. Oh, never mind. He's PvPing. Yeah, he's PV. <sighs> Mav, one it's of these like days, one of these days, you're gonna realize I've been doing this long enough that I know you how it actually, works. No, you genuinely have raided mission runners in the past. I know how this works. Hey, dude. some people like to watch mission. Shut the fuck up. Dude. No, I'm nice Don's to watch here missions. to provide the final I, words. I. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. You shut the fuck up, idiot. Go and ping your locust fleet. Uh, we're done with this. this how is that a comeback? Does anyone want to buy uh, I'll sell you relays on Well, hey, look. Fleet. When you guys get into Relay. Batman Larry's oh, really? channel, tell him hi from Redline. Um, no, and wish him the best of luck. Don't be cringe and don't do what Mav says. Ever. Carm you should, you should Carmella, do the Shadow Cartel I stream. If I'm you not want to do that. Just ask me. I'll be happy to tell you what I write down in my ping. Anyways, no uh, we'll see you guys later this week. We're gonna do some other Eve streams aside from this, and uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna do game shows. I'm gonna do Wheel of Fortune on. Uh, yeah, I am. Red, Wheel of Fortune on Wednesday. Like Redline's really trying to gun for that for that Twitch sub income. He's he's, he's really good. Yeah, make that. sure you subscribe it's for free using Twitch Prime. He's, he's, Don't subscribe. He's gonna yeah, quit his job fine. now. He's gonna quit his job. Oh, okay, he's gone. He's gonna quit his job and then he's gonna fucking get a face cam and make it his full time. You're gonna stream twenty hours a day. The Joseph Ghosty approach. Okay, now that we're off stream. Hello. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're not off stream.